I appreciate I the analytics. Active. All right, we're back. Never mind. Forget that other intro that I did. Now we're back with Unwound Future. Let's get hype. Uh, <laughs> hype, hype. Hype. Found one. Found one. Found one. He found one. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a it's this is a scientist. Mm. I recognize his ridiculous head. <laughs> the chrome dome. <laughs> oh, hello there. Say, do you happen to know if this is the way to Chinatown? Yeah, this path will take you there, probably. Probably? Haven't you taken me a thank you? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. No, no way. <laughs> I just got this feeling that something could happen to me down there. Something bad. That feeling is called racism. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, what if I have a run-in with the family? That would get messy fast. I'm better off just staying here and solving puzzles. You're right. This is kind of just latent, but louder. <laughs> <laughs> Loudly. Might be lurking around here. I didn't want any trouble. So I've hidden in a spot where I can spy on them without being seen. Do me a favor. Will you tell me how many goons there are? Can I? Oh. Is that a goon? That's not a goon. Is that a paper? That's a goon. That's that one. Was... That's two. That's three. Three. He's what the fuck this. is that? I think you can hover over it. Does it move? There you go. It's moving. Oh, is, is that, that a goon? goon? I don't think so. I can't. Oh, that's a goon, I think. Pop. He's wearing like a hat. Yeah, uh, I think that's a goon. Ba, 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 ba. That's four. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, five, six. Jesus, dude. Seven, maybe. Okay, yeah. it's so I resolution. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna say seven. Seven. Seven seems fair. Cause that guy is not this is definitely not but that's definitely a character we're gonna see later all right let's go with seven 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 how about this fuck nope Damn. we are wrong uh six just add plus one or minus one yeah hmm how about this no what oh. add one yeah. Hmm. How about this? No, what? We're all wrong. We are. Oh, all look! There's another wrong. guy over here. And that isn't that eight. I'm gonna. What? What if it's nine? What if there's more? Someone in the safe. But I can't. Uh, but I. But I'm not activating no. them. Oh my god! You have to keep your. You have to keep your thing on them to get them to pop out. Is that why this guy? No, that guy's popping out. No, on his like own. he was still moving. I know. That guy. Is that a head goon? I don't know. Fucking nine? Try you, it. open up. Head open goon. up. This FBI. is the police. FBI, open up. Hmm. How about this? Fucking nine? What the fuck? It'll show us. I hope it does. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we counting the? We're counting the blue hair dude. The blue hair dude. dude. The uh, balcony guy, yeah, is a goon. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't think he's goony enough. It's not even. Well, he was a goon. He's goon as hell. But we didn't know that. That's what a goon could look like. He's not that kind of goon. <gasps> it's a man. I'll say. Very suspicious looking man. Hey, you solved my puzzle. Guess you're not part of the family then. You're just too bright, see? Oh, they're not too bright, see? Well, I, I kind of said the same thing. Of course not. We're no family goons. I'm Luke, and this man here is the famous Professor Layton. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little Layton, you say? Of course he's not a family good goon. He's the head honcho. Help! Somebody help me! 
Oops. I forgot how the name Leighton tends to scare the socks off people in this time. Yes, it's unfortunate, but people seem to think I'm a criminal. <laughs> now I'm doing a fucking guy from the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Ringo it's, Starr. It's me, Ringo Starr. Hello, it's Ringo Leighton. <laughs> Ringo Leighton. On a more interesting note, do take a look at the ground, Luke. He has wet footprints again. He must have peed his pants. He must have peed his pants. <laughs> Those footprints must belong to the man who just ran off. Come to think of it, his feet and pants were all wet, but why he was wading mm. through the river. <laughs> <laughs> but why could it be other than his pissed pants? So, so Saba, remember, like, I've been thinking about it. Like, it's either... Professor, uh, either the Layton game decides to take a complete nosedive out of realism and we are actually in the future, right? Or what if like something crazy happened? Like we're actually in like a vat of hallucinogenic like, gas. Well, not even like <laughs> not even like a vat of hallucinogenic ja uh, gas per se, but like like you know the you know the you know the vats that they put people in in the Matrix. Oh, fan freaking tastic! Like, would that be simulation. would that be funny if that's how like all of like that's why these people's footprints are wet is because we're actually all just in like a like a a, a brain and bath sensory deprivation. S Silver thing. rune, time cave is realistic. Okay, I'm just time cave off. is the name of my memoir. Time yeah. cave. <laughs> So like if, 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 so if much I more were, sense than who I, 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 I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not natively recording any of these latent playthroughs. But if I was, I would definitely have the time cave in the thumbnail. <laughs> I'd buy it. Thanks. I don't know if my memoir would be that interesting, but it certainly would be wordy. Anyway. It's a bit chilly to be out for a swim, don't you think? Indeed. So how did he get all wet? Hmm. Underwater and wet clothes. Not under semi water. We have discovered semi. these are. This is. We're already fifty percent done with the mysteries. To to be fair, they only you know notice the wet footprints after they recognize Layton and get scared and run away. I'm just saying. <laughs> so they the piss pants themselves. theory. <laughs> piss pants theory isn't so bad. I'm just saying. If you could, if you had the ability to piss your pants on command, would you? Like, can't, I mean, can't you obviously, do it on like command? saying like how often? Is it <laughs> obviously? What? <he> says. <laughs> Ob I imagine, it, I imagine I it being a defensive mechanism, kind of like how an iguana can pull off its tail. Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. Do it. It's like, or it's like a squid letting out ink. It's just like, oh fuck, I pissed myself, and the person I just goes like. We had control over our our own, like you know, bladder function. When Some did it become a thing do. where we don't have an? Are look, you? So look at Saba flexing over no, us No, but with I mean, like the difference. <laughs> like, like, so, like Saba. <laughs> Are you Saba, just all out of what? control? Can you? Not you Saba, when was, control, when was the last time you went to the bathroom? That's a good question. Have I gone today? Has it been at... Have, what the fuck? Has, have you gone today? Hey, it's 4 p.m. It's like 4. You need I to have, drink I more have. water. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Saba. Uh, anyway, for us humans out here who consume <laughs> liquids and go to the bathroom, normally you... I don't know about you, but like I can't force myself to piss. Like Even if I'm standing in front of a toilet, if it's been like an hour or two, I can't force myself to piss. I don't need in to go to the bathroom. I guess, yeah. If there's nothing in you, I guess, sure. But, like, if you do got something in you, then, like... Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> you're you're saying it like it's an anime character. character. <laughs> Inya. Singer. In Inya <laughs> is my favorite Genshin Impact character. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Game. You know, Professor, with all the trees here, this hill is actually kind of creepy. What's the matter, Luke? Are you afraid of bumping into a ghost? Come on, Professor. I know you would never believe in something so unscientific. Unscientific, you say? Yeah. Th there's no proof that ghosts exist. Nothing based on fact, anyway. 
See now, once again, I know that this is because this is an adult child dynamic or whatever, but like fucking Luke and Layton have such great chemistry together, like as characters, whereas like Phoenix and Maya have no chemistry <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Like, like, you know what it language. is? Like, I feel like Maya and them, they, like, bully each other. Yeah, they're it's antagonistic, like, like, so often. Like, like I don't Lady know. Like, I wouldn't, teasing like, Luke, but I feel affection behind it. Yeah, you know? it's like, you know, yeah, it's just, it's just like, fun, like, ah, uh, just, it's yeah, okay, Yeah, it's just playing buddy. fun a little bit. Whereas, like, fucking, uh, what what you call it? Like, Maya will shit on Phoenix's ability to, like, not do his job correctly, and then will be like, buy me a hamburger. <laughs> then you know? uh, provide me food spend right. all your money for me and that's, what, and that's one of the reasons why I, I loved Pearly so much because Pearly genuinely wanted to be helpful and also was helpful whereas Maya was like kind of weird for a bit until like the latter half of, uh, of Ace Attorney 3 so it's just I don't know it's just one of those things where it's just like I, I, I established or I stated this in um, Diabolical Box but it's just like everything about this <clears throat> like there is conflict that occurs in latent games obviously but it's just it's not antagonistic my Phoenix, <laughs> you're ugly you're disgusting i'm gonna kill you give me 200 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> god i love that i'm gonna play the clip you're ugly you are disgusting i'm gonna kill you give me 200 dollars. <laughs> god i hate i hate dr phil so much dr phil dr phil Dr. Bill, who's posting memes? Dr. Bill. Saba, stop posting memes badly. Oh, it's funny. No, it's I not like the fact it. that the meme. I don't know if the meme's funny or not because you link. Because you're just linking Instagram shit. <laughs> figure I out can't, how to send, you know, sometimes how it shows up, image, sometimes it doesn't. All right? I don't oh, yeah. want to. It's so much easier to copy link. Cool! Then no one looks at it! Who I'm sick and tired of having to open up Except a link! Except the people who actually have I'm going to kill you! Give that. me $200! <laughs> You'll You're ugly, discover you're disgusting, I'm going to kill you, you come to stream tomorrow. Oh, which come reminds me, Grant, There's um, no stream. I do there stream? have a special surprise for tomorrow. You don't have to be there obviously since we're not doing uh outer wilds but it would be nice if you were there it's a it, it's a surprise i can't tell you what it is but i can say that i can say specifically that saba will enjoy what we're playing tomorrow would you be interested in joining uh, there. there, I guess. I don't know. Saba will enjoy it. Is this to fuck with me? <laughs> I have no Why? Because you wouldn't enjoy it? No, I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it too. It's just uh, like, pretty sure he says. Hmm. I'm pretty well, I don't know. I'm I don't even you. know what this means. Listen, Zach, you're ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. <laughs> I'm gonna make that an emote in chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, when we get off stream tonight, uh, I'm gonna go into Moobot for commands, and then I'm gonna have, uh, exclamation point ugly, and it's just gonna read out the whole thing. <laughs> you're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. And then, and then, like, some random person, like, donates 200 to the stream, and I'm like, sick. <laughs> it's working. As a man of science, naturally, you don't fear something as silly as ghosts, right? Maybe just a little. Well, that makes sense, given the disembodied hand on your shoulder. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? There was a coin and a hidden puzzle right next to each other. I spy with my little eye a hidden puzzle. Paving the garden. <laughs> No! One <laughs> well, it's multiple choice. One it's multiple choice. Five types of paving stones below around your garden without their overlapping each other. Can we spin you them? That's these. wrong. That's okay. wrong. Without them overlapping each other or any of the four white flower bushes. That's right. Without no, that's right. right. Layton, you can't do this to me. Yeah, would, without any without any of them overlapping each other, that definitely that makes sense. Of there. Oh, there. I see what you're saying. There. What does it say? I can't read it. It says there, there without there overlapping each other. 
Oh, that is wrong. Never mind. That Congratulations. Is gross. That is Professor gross. Layton in the fucking bad English. Get it right. Oh my <laughs> Professor God. Professor Layton in the failure. <laughs> in the failure of writing. So, so some so some of these can fit and some of these cannot fit is what they're saying. Can we rotate these? Sorry. You can rotate yes, them. Yes, you, you can't can flip them. There you go. I can do that. One. And I can do that. Ooh. No, we, uh, one of the five types of paving stones below without overlap Perfect. weight. You use uh, only one type, I believe, is what it's saying. Oh, you have to just use the same type over and over? I think, is that what it's saying? You want to lay one of the five, yeah, one of the five types of paving stones below around your garden without them overlapping each other or any of the four white flower bushes. Oh, and you, you have to pick rotate. which one would, would actually fit your garden. So it's not C, because C wouldn't be able to cover this spot. Hmm. So we can't do that one. Can we do can we do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that? No. So you can't be A. Now Zoc. Zach, B speaking of Zoc. Zoc? I, Zoc? No, no, I was Zoc. speaking. I was speaking to the other Zoc over like in the corner. Uh sorry. So now <laughs> I'm speaking to Zach now. Uh, so Zach, uh when it comes to like Moobot, I may have to ask you about that because like I can stop. <laughs> no, it's okay. As, I didn't as, say as, as, how about that? <laughs> This I is was what right. Oh my Holy God. shit, I was right though. Oh, That's hilarious. I was hoping you were wrong. <laughs> ah, fuck you. I did it. I'm the best. It's hilarious. I don't know. I don't know, Saba. What do you want to know about Moobot? What are you no, planning? On, are you planning like on having the... a timer or commands or anything? Because if not, you can just turn on the auto mod and then just leave it. True. There's also that because I was like, I saw stream oh, and admins have like chat. I think, there, I think there's a, um... I think and there's... I think there's... I just wanted to know whether or not you know if, like, one was better or than the other or not. Uh, I... Is it... Is it exclamation point command or exclamation point, like... Isn't it exclamation point high? No. Can I you... must have... I must have turned the... I must have turned the commands off at some point. Because I thought there was, um... Or is it exclamation point like... list? No. Anyway. I'll, I'll have to double check my Boobot stuff. But yeah, so, uh... It, my my thing to you would be to I know that um, Streamlabs has like a lot of controversies around it uh, recently, but uh, they have the most robust suite that seems easiest to use to have like on screen elements like chat and event mm -hmm. notifications and stuff like that. So I use them, but that's purely because I haven't found an alternative that makes a fucking lick of sense. So okay, because I I know I'm using Stream Elements right <laughs> now. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so... It's made by the same... It's the same people. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're just wondering, because I know there's, like, more... Oh! People. It's a little bee! Can't yeah, stop looking at this curious flower! Fucking and come on! And the straight little red right next to it. Oh my god, it's Adrian! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's Seagal! Oh my god! It's it's Steven Seagal. What what does Steven Seagal sound like? He he's very like hush like <laughs> despite being the man he's like you you got to learn how to do aikido and it's very important you know I I was raised that I was born from Bruce Lee. I was born shit. from Bruce born Lee. From hey, there, you two. You got a uh, you got lost look around about you. Do you know where you are? I confess we do not. It is our first time passing through here to this shitty part of town. I love the top screen. Tall buildings. Yeah, that that's really that's that really puts me in the like where we are. In the mood. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change up the I'm gonna change up the voice. Okay. <clears throat> Listen! I could be wrong, <laughs> but it looks like you two oh, no. are uh, a couple of un upstanding citizens. I'm a nice fella, so I'll clue you two in. You're standing right on top of a black market bazaar. Black market? Wow! 
amazing. Wow, it's right, kid. We sell a lot of weird stuff around here and no one questions where it comes from. If it was me and those shiny loafers of yours, I'd help, uh, uh, or sorry, I'd keep my head down and vamoose as quick as I can. Yes, that seems prudent. Before we go, though, tell me, why do people come all the way out here to do their shopping? Listen, kid, the things for sale here, well, they're, uh, let's just say you won't find them at the supermarket. So things like, <laughs> like, like things that aren't food, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, uh, TVs, TVs, remotes, batteries, that kind of stuff. Pokemon cards. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> they stopped carrying these at my local Target. They stop carrying these in my local Target, so I gotta get them at here, the black market. <laughs> at the black market. Black market Pokemon cards. They're just normal. <laughs> oh my god. Who's to say what treasures you'll find? So you deal in antiques and other rare items? I think we've asked enough questions for one day, Luke. Let's move on, shall we? You two, be careful! Oh, and if you ever, if you're ever in the market for something hard to locate, swing by. What the fuck? What the fuck is this thing? Is that a cat? <laughs> oh my god, it's Saba! <laughs> <laughs> you rude bastard! <laughs> That's exactly what Saba looks like in real life, by the way. Skinny, rectangular. Snap your neck. Right. Like you couldn't opposite. reach. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hello there, Mr. Cat. She's also teal. Or like dark <laughs> teal, green. Largely feline. <laughs> oh my god. Largely feline. Catanova! It's Catanova. Catanova is a really good name. <laughs> All right, Grant, this is you. There we go. There's the next. Wait, is it there? That's the next cosmic cat Pokemon right there. Catano. Oh, cosmic cat. But now, if you, but if it's cosmic, but if it's a cosmic cat and it's a cosmic type or whatever, right? This just leads me to believe that it explodes like a fucking Voltorb. Yeah, don't fuck with him. It evolves into Cataclysm. Oh. oh. Grant, read your line. <laughs> <laughs> He's going fast. <laughs> what is he saying, Luke? He says he's a bit of a jump because I was about to say, like, Professor, I don't know. He's putting some. He's saying something about going into a back alley. I don't know. Getting, like. I, I don't know what this means, <laughs> Professor. So, so Saba, uh, would you mind reading the line just one more time? He says he's in a bit of a jam, Professor. I can see that. He's stuck in the jar right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, it's, astonish oh. it's astonishing how fast he can be despite being stuck in that glass jar. No. This Tomcat is trying to meet up with his sweetheart. His However, the dog on the squares with X's can smell a, a cat up to three squares away. And chase him off. They can't ever smell a cat through a wall. Through a wall. Is that right? Through a wall. I mean, I think I did it. But did you? Did but did you, did you do it? Truly, did you remember to save? I will never stop bringing this up because I think this is hilarious. Hmm. How about this? What? Phew. That's a relief. Fuck. I thought she was going to <laughs> I thought she was going to say it and I was going to try to save you. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I am la I am laughing so hard. <laughs> it's pretty orange. <clears throat> Fuck you. No, it's, it's orange. <laughs> Me right now. You can't Fantastic. punch. You can't punch a mirror like that. Your hand would be absolutely <laughs> gushing blood. What the fuck? Yeah. Also, have you? Did you see the color of that lamp behind them? It was just like the sun, orange. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you both. <laughs> cool. 
we helped that cat, I guess. He's a friend. Now he won't explode and create a supernova. A catanova. Catanova. Oh, it's catanova like Casanova, like romance. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. Did you, did you just figure that out? <laughs> I thought you said space stuff, and I was like, yeah, that space makes sense. Space cat. Yeah, he's got a little space helmet on, on him. He's a little, a little sussy. <laughs> Among us. <laughs> Among us. Among us. I think you got two, didn't you? Yeah, but what if there's a third, Grant? What if there is that, Zach? Let's keep her going. No! Let's keep her going. <laughs> but what if I no! can solve? What if I can solve this now? You have two. Uh, one day, the manager. Oh, you got three. The man. <laughs> the man manager. After the man left, I noticed that the white thing. Come. Coffee. I don't. I don't think that's white enough. Customer. <laughs> the Coco had arrived. <laughs> I just want to keep putting Montressor in all of them. <laughs> they should have a bunch of them. Oh, we haven't checked Layton's journal in a while. <coughs> Apparently that... since we went to see Dr. Oh my Schroeder. god, there's only four pages? Well, that's so far. Oh, okay. Because the other one, it, it had all of the needed. pages, and then you filled them in over time. Yeah, it only goes as far as needed. All right, we're cutting through the black market. Turn down the mic game. Can I turn down the mic game? Notice I keep clipping out, like, my... Mic stops like me the... when it, like, hits gain, gain would not affect that. Gain is, like, your overall volume. <laughs> Input Ish. level is too high. Maybe it's the input sensitivity. Um, could be. No, it might. It might be your. Do you have? You have a compressor, right? Probably. Because yeah. well, you said well. No, <laughs> never mind. Because it's the. It's like the beginning and ends of your sentences, right? So yeah, I guess Automatic it would be. I guess it would be control? sensitivity. Because the other thing that I would, because you said yesterday that it cuts off when you get too loud or whatever, and that would be like a, that would be like a, uh, that would be like a compressor issue. You know, that's why like when I yell really loud on stream, my audio just cuts out for, for stream. Yeah, I don't know if I'm too loud or like, I mean, I was you did just turn like off like pitches. the de facto volume, right? Yeah. Scoozy. A green frame. The only thing I can think of is yeah. A green frame and six orange blocks below are all comprised of identical equilateral triangles. The frame can perfectly f uh, can be f perfectly fitted using five of the six blocks. The blocks can be flipped and rotated in any direction. To fit the frame, circle the one block that isn't used. There's a lot of this type of stuff. Um, it's this one. How much do you want to bet that I'm right? Oh my god, everybody's muted. Go for it. Why is everyone I'm muted? back. I've got a good feeling about this one. Fuck! How cool would I it have been Layton's if I was name. right? I heard Layton's name and I had to piss my pants. <laughs> oh, I don't want to think about this. Okay. What about the little diamond? How about we just do that one? No. What about the little man? I'm just a little man, sir. So that one works, and then you can fit the little diamond right in there. So that autom so that's automatically like fine. You can fit this little trapezoidal one like right in there. That works. And what else? You could uh What the fuck? They all they they can all fit. <laughs> I don't know who who made this? <laughs> <laughs> Who done it? Cause this one is like a trapezoidal one with like a like a with like a it's like a it's like a like a it's like a, it's like a, it's like a but it says perfectly fitted, right? 
So I guess uh, I, I guess I did this. I guess I, I guess I'm solving it wrong then. Oh, dude, I don't fucking know. I wish that I, like, I know that it would, I know that it would completely invalidate the puzzle, but I really wish I could like move these. Also, that was <laughs> that a good, one? that was a good circle. <laughs> I'm going to say. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. All right. Uh, how about this? Instead of drawing the lines like a crazy person, what if I just fill in Ooh, the squares? I can name my mic. You can name your mic. All right. That one's this one's By pizza. Wait, Zach. I called my computer. You want to guess what I call my computer? It's a video game thing. Stupid, ugly, fucking bullshit. <laughs> Jesus. That yeah. <clears throat> that's that a video it. game that's thing. A... Yep, it's my that favorite video game. This stupid fucking bullshit. Yes! Yeah. It's called League of Legends. <laughs> True. Sorry, what was your question again? What did her what did she name her computer? What do you stupid think ugly it? bullshit nonsense? <laughs> no, no no no. Um, I'm assuming it's fucking Gato Robato. How about that? Good name. It's a better name than whatever bullshit Saba came up with. Oh my god, Jesus. Some what, whatever, whatever stupid bullshit nonsense. No. <laughs> Zach's just upset he didn't name his computer Gato Roboto. I, now, now I am. Yeah. Hey, Grant. What? Hey, Zach. Can you just fucking kill me? Oh, Saba's gone. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Saba? Did she rename her computer so she lost connection? No, no, I turned something on, I think, and then, like, the audio just cut. Okay, well, that's not bad. Huh. What's, what's the name of your computer? I, I named, I named it Okami. 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 Nice. That's a bad <laughs> name! <laughs> no, like, the first That's a bad name, really and good. you should feel bad! <laughs> I'm telling you it's the diamond. I can believe it. Is. It might it might straight up just be the diamond because they're just gonna be like, oh no one will think that it's the smallest one. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm doing my I'm doing my due diligence to actually like solve the puzzle. He's doing as his best duty. as I can. He's beginning to believe. He's beginning to believe. Fuck. I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna fucking I'm just gonna wing it. Let's try the little. Let's try the little triangle thing. I've got a good feeling about this one. He's the little triangle. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. Let's go, Sava. You should just listen to me more often. <laughs> Why do you sound oh like my, my niece? God. Oh my god! Wait. Come on, dear. Wait. She doesn't say. It. She doesn't say my name like that. But it is exactly how she talks. You're not gonna All talk right. to these funky fellas. Who? Fucking Rosencrantz and Gillenstern? <laughs> yeah, them. <laughs> oh my god, they're Muppets. <laughs> it it smell me. <laughs> it smell me. And the other one's lick me. <laughs> Ligma. Ligma. All right. Well, fucking, I don't know. I guess there's three. I guess there's three you. people here. So one of you is smell me, and the other one is smell you. Sh do you want smell me or smarten uh, Saba? I can be sh smell me. All right, go ahead. Oi! Just what do you two think you're doing? No one passes through this gate here. The fuck is this accent? <laughs> just move along. Now clear out, or we'll be having more than words with each other. Minnesota. <laughs> That's what it is. It's fucking... <laughs> this isn't. This isn't Minnesota. This is like Minnesota lights, like diet Minnesota. Diet Minnesota. That's already too much Minnesota. I see. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> the nerve of them. They're just a pair of brutes, don't you agree? Um, Professor, what are what are you thinking about? Tell me, Luke. Do these two remind you of anyone we know? Hmm? It's not an exact match. But they do bear an odd resemblance to a certain pair of fellows we know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Of course. We're talking about oh, Inspector Scrivener. Oh, and... it's fucking Scrivener. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scrivener. Scrivener. I am. The similarities are quite striking, don't you think? Big guy in check or charge <laughs> check. Short <laughs> assistant check. Big guy in check. This is not the same thing, you know. Big guy in check. We're playing chess right now. <laughs> I, I have him on the ropes. Big guy in charge. Short assistant. This is just this is just Grant and I whenever we went anywhere. Something tells me that the inspector wouldn't take kindly to being told he resembles a criminal. Speaking of the inspector, did his presence at the event seem at all odd to you? The event? Do you mean the time machine demonstration? It does feel strange to bring this up now, Professor. This was like multiple. This was like hours ago. Shouldn't we talk about it? It was a couple days, I think. Yes. Why do you suppose a police inspector was invited to an event like that in the first place? Well, he's cracked quite a few tough cases. Maybe his celebrity status got him invited. Mm, yes, I'd assumed the same thing. After all, pseudo-celebrity status is what uh, got you and me our tickets. Pseudo-celebrity? Nonsense, you're the great Professor Layton. The very model of a modern-day English gentleman. <laughs> I hate to say it, Luke, but I think you're the only one who's hate, uh, who'd i would heap that kind of whatever fucking words. <laughs> he is the very model of a modern major gentleman. No, and not to words. <laughs> From what I saw, almost everyone there was part of London's upper class or the media. The inspector and I were clear exceptions to an otherwise homogenous list of names. They were all white people. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the only being in the world that can be homogenous. So? <laughs> Just like milk. <laughs> <laughs> mm, milk. His <laughs> eyes just, like, drift <laughs> apart. What about <laughs> chocolate milk? Oh, homogenous chocolate. Strawberry milk. Yeah, by, by the way, <laughs> Grant, uh, I wanted to I wanted to ask you, not that like it's particularly your place to have to defend yourself against this or defend an entire country against this. What the fuck is up with Japan and strawberry milk? Milk. I I fucking I, I I was reading a post. Milk? I was I was reading a post last night uh, after stream where it's like, yeah, apparently there's just like a fuck ton of strawberry milk flavored things in Japan that are really popular. The most common strawberry. one that I saw was strawberry milk flavored Coca-Cola. Strawberries themselves are a very huge thing in Japan so much that they're like a huge industry because they have to be because Japan's food industry standards are super high and everything has to be crazy perfect because they except for cheese. I heard that. cheese is kind of subpar. Oh, I don't know. I don't um, think we're talking about taste. Strawberries, <laughs> <laughs> strawberries are very much a huge industry in Japan and thus very popular because they're very expensive. And so strawberry milk, I guess, is an is extension of that. That makes sense. The fruit, I think the fruits industry in general also is also like really high quality in Japan. Wait, so, that's so are you telling like, me that, are you telling me that the fruit, milk. Parlor non the fruit parlor nonsense that was like the backbone of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8, Jojo Leon, actually makes sense in the context of Japan? Because like, Probably. the idea is that it's this crazy wealthy family that has like an entire estate in like, uh, like, off to the side of Morio, and like their one business that they have is a fruit parlor. And I was like, "Fuck oh, you!" Absolutely. You're like, I, I like initially I was like, "Fuck you!" There's no way that that makes that much money. But now that you're describing it as like, "Oh, it's actually a really big thing there," I'm like, "Oh, I guess that makes sense." Fruit can easily cost over a hundred dollars. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's like, there's like, it's like, it's like they have perfect fruit. There's like regular fruit and then perfect fruit. It's like yeah. sweeter like crisper i don't even know what to tell you it's just elite fruit isn't crisper the thing that allows you to like rewrite dna <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, yeah, like, so it rewrites your DNA. That's why it's so expensive. So, dude. so, so tangential question, because also tangential to that post was a separate post that was about how Japan has an obsession with yogurt. 
Yeah, they be liking probably. Yeah. But why? No, um, they don't, don't got. Know. They don't do well with cheese, so they evolve to yogurt. They can make. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. Are there native cows on Japan? Uh, yeah, isn't there Wagyu? Isn't that one of the, the Wagyu? Isn't, beef? I like, thought Wagyu like was a Hawaiian Indian? thing. No, no that's uh, Japanese. The entire it is thing Japanese. Of, uh, the Wagyu prefecture. Or no, what's the fucking prefecture called? Yeah, the, yes, there there are. Because okay. Uh, <laughs> but are, but are there, are there <laughs> native <laughs> cows on in Japan? Like, are there cows that started in Japan? Because like my assumption would be that cows were brought over by like the Dutch or questions, whatever. Man. Probably there are. Do cows yeah. exist? Well, it's are not cows even do real, cows though? exist. Is that there are tons of places in the world where cows aren't native, you know? But are there whatever. cows in Madagascar? You think? Are there cows? Right are there now? cows? Hey, man, <clears throat> you find chickens in Hawaii. You know, sometimes things just do feel wacky. Woman. Uh, what I wouldn't give to hear the inspector's take on that event. Yeah, it's too bad we'd have to go back to our own time to ask him. Wait a second! What if the inspector is still working here in the future? Professor, there you are. Ah, oh, hello, Luke. I couldn't help but overhear you as so I ran as I ran up. Did you say you'd like to meet with the inspector? Yes. Ideally, we would meet him back in our time, while the events of ten years ago are still fresh in his mind. I think we can make that happen. We just bring him over to our time? Is that what we're- is that what we're saying? Let's continue this conversation away from prying eyes, shall we? Schmelmi and Schmelmers or whatever are literally right there with a knife, just being like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. We told you. Why don't we head over to the wooded area to the west? This is where we just were. Yeah. There, much better. <laughs> I don't think anyone <laughs> can to overhear us here. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they were literally in the middle of the black market, so... No, I get it, but it's still just weird. It's like, all right, come with me real quick, and now let's continue the conversation. Okay. Like, nothing <laughs> happened in between. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned that there's a way for us to visit the inspector who exists in our own time. I can only imagine this means returning to the present. Is that possible? Indeed, Professor, but the only way to do it is to use the wormhole in the clock shop. I- But the door to that place is bolted shut. How will we get in? Grant, do we yeah. really have to do- Like, do we have to- Like, is the- <laughs> Are there two maps? Are we able to go back and forth between the past and the future? And we get to we'll explore to both sides out. of London? That'd be fucking insane. We'll have to find out, Zach. That shouldn't be a problem. I can get that door open for you. I know we keep doing tangents, but I gotta say this real quick. If we ever do Doctor Who theme intensifies, um, if we ever do uh, Chrono Trigger, <laughs> still planning on doing it one day, obviously, as I've indicated previously, um, it has one of the coolest side quests ever in my mind, which is um, one of the characters, Robo, is specifically supposed to be a tank, right? He's a big robot guy. So he's supposed to be pretty tanky. And he has pretty much exclusive access to this one super late game uh, shield item, which effectively like triples his defense. It's really good, like triples his natural defense at the end game levels that you're in. But the idea is that the 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 artifact that you find it's a shell. It's like it's like a it's like a it's like a shell that you find from this like ancient sea creature. And the idea is that the shell is able to absorb energy in order to like become more powerful right and so when you initially find it you go back in time like you know a little because chrono trigger has a lot of time travel obviously you go back in time a little bit and it's like okay here is an island where the sun never sets it's always at high noon so there's exactly one shaft of light in this cave and if we leave the shell there it'll get like a thousand years of pure sunlight and then we could pick it up in the future and take it back and when you do oh and it's cool right when you do it's like boom i got this super cool shell 
But then later, if you're thinking about it, right? Like you have to figure this out on your own as a, as a person. You're like, wait a minute. There is an even further back period of time that I can go, and that island still exists. I just have to go there. I have to fly there. Now, way, 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 way back in the future, like billions of years, or sorry, millions of years in the future, I'm going to leave the shell there, then go to the super distant future right before the fucking sun explodes, take the shell there, and guess what? The shell is now 20 times more powerful because you figured out Jesus. this, like, special thing. And I'm like, dude, that's cool as hell. I love it so awesome. much. Uh, it, it's such a cool, like, little side quest. Nice. Strange. Why is it that you have such easy access to the wormhole? I promise I'll explain everything when we get there. Please trust me on this. I don't... Just fucking... Tell us, you slimy bitch! You're, he's, he's, be, he's evil. He has to be to evil. To be fair, I think it's Luke's uh, revenge on Leighton being so cryptic all the time when he was a oh, kid. Oh, you're so right. I don't know if that's canonical, like, but that makes, I'm making that canon in my mind. I, that's what I believe as, like, oh, now it's fucking your turn to be in the dark, Professor Leighton. <laughs> Uh, but for now, let's return to the clock shop on Midland Road. But what about our plan to head into Chinatown? That will have to go on the back burner for now. The situation has changed. <laughs> All of my evil schemes are kind of unraveling in the background, so I need to distract <laughs> you. Oh. I don't believe that this fucker is a good guy. He's evil. He's evil. Is it, I am willing to die on this hill just like how I died on the um who was the who was the who was the super hot the, the super hot biker chick from that one ace attorney case where I was like she has to be evil there's no way that a woman like this would date such a fucking lame schmuck and then guess what turns out they're <laughs> actually just wildly in love and happily married and I was like oh fuck <laughs> oh shit that's what I get for being a dickhead <laughs> I had to go. I had to fucking manually go all the way back to Midland Road. Yeah, man. All right, it's fine. Also, if we're just going along this path, why did I take a dip in the river real quick? Just, just do a little swim. Say, Say when was that oh, lighthouse sorry, on the Thames built? It's me, sir. <laughs> About five or so years ago. Did anyone complain about the lighthouse's peculiar location? Building a structure like that in the middle of the Thames seems uh, like it'd do more harm than good. You make a good point, Professor, but enough chat about the city. We need to make for the clock shop. Bro, when Professor Layton makes a good point, that means there's something fishy going on! Oh, thank goodness you stopped. The most jabbernair gentleman in London requires your assistance. Okay, what's the matter? It's that blasted bird over there. It cuts to a, a picture. It cuts to like a scene of a bird that was absolutely mullered by his shotgun. The blasted <laughs> bird. <laughs> blasted bird. Does that, does that bird happen to be a seagull? Shut up. If you don't. <laughs> Thank goodness I was able to hit it. The dreadful creature swooped down and plucked my best cufflinks right off my sleeve. What bird? This one, and he flips him off. Oh, it's a parrot! Oh, that must be the bird this fellow was talking about. Oh, wow, a parrot! Don't just stand there gaping. Grab the awful thing before he gets away. Is that the right word? Gaping? Gaping? I mean, yeah, like, ape. jaw agape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. It was like gawking? Have... I'm like, that's definitely... <laughs> you may have not noticed, sir, but we're in a bit of a hurry here. Listen to yourself, Luke. Don't you remember what the professor always says? Helping people in need is the duty of every gentleman. I suppose you've got me there. Very well, then. Let's think. This bird clearly likes shiny objects. Tell me, sir, do you have anything shiny we could borrow for a moment? 
Of course, what sort of gentleman would I be without the proper accoutrement? Here, I carry around this garnet for when I need to accessorize with a little flash. Really? She's my favorite Steven Universe character. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Fucking pales in comparison to Peridot, but you know, you're allowed to your own <laughs> you're allowed to your own mistakes, it's fine. Well, is Peridot in multiverses? I thought it not. It will be! <laughs> oh, so you say. The yeah, entire Steven Universe right cast now. would fit in multiverses. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Looks apparently Paradox not in multiverses. Curses! My garnet has fallen to the bottom of my bag, and I can't reach it. You're not making it very easy to help you, sir. Don't be a sliding puzzle. Don't do it. <laughs> it's Don't. a sliding no! puzzle! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, how did you know that? This game fucking sucks, and I hate it. <laughs> oh, this man it. got binoculars. What, what else he got? Is that bread? What's at the bottom? It's the like bottom a. Right. It, oh, it no, looks, that's a shoe. What is that? This here, it looks like a. Uh, it's like a tin of like a uh, hair. No, 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 the one bottom right. Bottom the one right. Is this, it's yeah, a. Is that it's, bread. It's bread. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, it's okay. a. It's like all back out. It's bread. He's brave. This man getting brave. Dude, nothing I... fucking... Nothing fits anywhere. He needs to get a better bag. That's what Also, I it's been... a suitcase, so... Uh, well, you like, know. Shouldn't he just be able to... Uh... Open it, like, vertically? Yeah. You mean like this? Like how we have it right now? <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Puzzles. I fucking hate puzzles, dude. <laughs> okay, now we have to clip that, put it right after Zach saying he loves puzzles. <laughs> I love puzzles. And I the circle hate. will be complete. Yeah, we've done it full circle. What the, what we've the fuck gone is here. this? Is this, this is a all toy? Is this a fucking cowboy toy? Where? I don't, I don't know, man. None of this shit fits anywhere. Shit fits, man. Oh. Well, okay. He's getting there. He's beginning to believe. He's believed. Oh well, that was an axe. Well, fucking. He oh, didn't cool. do a smile at the end. Also, Future that Luke. was. That we have never seen got, that before. That was. Yeah, that was our older first, Luke. This was our first puzzle as older Luke. Wow. He's joining the gang. A gang. Aha! There we are. All right, run. <laughs> We've stolen. We've stolen it. <laughs> stolen the garnet. With any luck, this flashy bauble will attract the feathery fellow. When he gets close, see if you can make friends. <laughs> like the entire, like the entirety of the rest of his uh, like statement is all um, is all like rhymes, and then Leighton just comes in, chops him in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Leave it to me. Right then, here goes. Chat -hot. Oh my god, we vaporized him! Here he comes with the infinity stone. <laughs> Ing. Quack. Oh, what a wonderful looking stone <laughs> you have! <laughs> Don't worry, little guy, we won't hurt you. Yes, but I will hurt you! Pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't say! I didn't say, no. Say, that bird seems pretty keen on you. Are you friends now? Of course, but don't you want to do what he says? Igloo? Shouldn't you? What? Why do now, now that you're friends, why don't you give him a name? That's a great idea, Professor, but what should I name him? Hmm. What are we naming the parrot? First we had Grandma, now we have... Zack Tot. <laughs> I mean, that would be funny. <laughs> hmm. T. He.
<laughs> but I, Mil Grambo ended up being such a good name. That was by accident because I was originally going to do Gramped. <laughs> but then we got Grammo. Grammo and Grammo was like, hey, that's a good name. Oh, God. Naming these things is difficult. Ferdy. 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 Furby. Furby. <laughs> hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Furby. Hello, back at you. I'm Luke. Nice to meet you too, Ferd. Well done, Luke. That was amazing. Of course, what else would you expect from the apprentice of the great Professor Layton? But did but did Big Luke understand what the that bird was what saying? I... That is what I asked. It is dun, dun, dun. Parrot minigame. God, he looks so Yay, ugly. Yay, parrot minigame. Where's Grammo? <laughs> Where's Grammo? I like uh, parrot. You said better, you like this like minigame game better, right? I, I do. Thank heavens you caught that feathery menace. What fine young men you two are. Keep at it, and one day you will each become a true gentleman like myself. We're glad we could help. Here you go, I believe these cufflinks and garnet are yours. Oh yes, there we are. With these on, I'm even more devastatingly handsome than before. Now I believe you two young men deserve something for your trouble. Oh, there's really no need, sir. Yes, he's right. Helping people is reward enough for any gentle. Okay. <laughs> so he drops it. He just leaves it. <laughs> he's like, you're right. <laughs> All right, goodbye. What the fuck? Where are hey, we? Let's have some fun, Ferdy. Walk. Right, so all you have to do is bring that apple to me. I think you can do it. What the fuck? Okay. Your parrot has generously wanted to give you an apple, but unfortunately, the heavy item sucks, so it has to <laughs> take he has to take a specific of path. Rope. Okay. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, okay. But how do uh, does it does it tell us where where he's in where we'll his go. initial launch is going to go? We'll see. Okay. You can fly to very high places. I mean, is this is this the same thing as the as the other one where it's like because the grandma one, you had to constantly wait for new toys, right? To like get them thinner and thinner. Is this the sort of thing where it's just like once we have access to a delivery, we can just do it? Uh, yes. I believe oh, so. Hey. I don't know. Is that going to do it? <laughs> oh. Slam dunked the shit out of that. That's funny. All right. Oh, and there's a time limit too. Interesting. Yes. Oh my god, he's on the top screen. He's on yeah! the top rope. Yeah, Ferdy. Yeah. Apple for Luke. An apple for Luke. Wow, great job, Ferdy. You got that apple to me in no time. Wow, great! Wow, great! Whenever you want to do another delivery, just give me a squawk, won't you? <laughs> delivery squawk! Delivery squawk! <laughs> fucking free labor. No, just fucking... I don't think I need to. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> Wait, it's the same back. one. Yeah, oh, 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 I understand. Oh. I have no earthly idea where this is going to send him, so I'm going to assume it's going to send me there. I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to go like that. I don't know. That's my assumption. Fantastic. Can you do it? Toing to- What the- 
<laughs> you did it, nice. Zach. Uh, yeah, Great. that's what I meant. That's what I meant to do. You know, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you did that in two mo two less moves than I thought you would. Fantastic. Congratulations. How many of these are there? Yeah, you could just keep doing them. It speaks. Oh God, I would love it if it was. Oh my God, that was the same default sound effect as in uh, Insane Aquarium when you pick up a diamond. If That's you say crazy. So. I can't believe I recognize that noise. <laughs> I don't think I need this last one, but whatever. Yeah, I didn't even need that last nice. one. Do I get it? <laughs> We're doing it. Games? <laughs> Maybe. Do it again. Do it again. Luke is gonna be absolutely he's gonna have fucking apple poisoning. Wait, it's the same one. Yeah, it's just it'll re go, I guess. Rand, why? Why? Rand, the apples. Let's just go back to the clock shop, the cock shop. Oh God. Adrian's Please. not here Don't to protect you. <laughs> Adrian's not here to protect. All right. Well, we did all the puzzles and we got no reward for it, other than doing a, a neat mini game. It's a fun little mini game. It's a fun little mini game. It's a fun but game. But I don't know. Does this fucking parrot show me where coins are? Probably will eventually. Found one. Found one. Oh, it's Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, Lois. Hey, Remember Lois. Remember that time they went to the clock shop? This guy. It's Layman, remember? Oh, okay, good. I was like, I don't remember what his voice is, so. I don't hey, know. Oh, this is Grant's character? Yeah, that was, that was me. What if Fucking... someone named their kid Cheeto? Wasn't that the name we of that one character have. from Hunter Hunter? Was it? The main yeah. character from Hunter Hunter, his name's Cheeto. No, yeah, the, like the, I, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the, the hot furry bug guy who was like half Cheeto or whatever. Wasn't oh, his name, okay, wasn't his name like Cheeto? Let me... Look it up look for a minute. Up. Yeah. Grant, we need to make progress, so we're gonna skip some of this. Let's take the path, the path. Let's go. Okay. I mean, we have to go... Wait, are we going this way? Yeah. Ah. Oh my god, it's Abraham Lincoln! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's she too. It's Silky. Uh, listen, though, you can forgive me, right? Like, that's pretty close to Cheeto. I mean, that's great. I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chi also, too. Grant, do you but know yeah. what this character looks like? The one that I was referencing? Abraham Lincoln? No, the Chidu, the, the Hunter Hunter character. Oh, no. Saba, do me a favor and post what he looks like in On Air. I need Grant to see this fucking furry bait. Oh, no. Um... I mean, he literally is also a bug, but yeah. That, that, that's He's irrelevant. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Right? Right? I'm, I'm not wrong. You you are not. I will say, there, it's funny because there is there is fan art for this, which I think is hilarious. Obviously, there's fan art for this. <laughs> I, I, I can only oh. assume there's fucking fan art for, like, Leol. So much fan art. Four children below are playing in the park when they suddenly realize they need to go home. In their haste, they have mixed up their coats. I forgot my coat. Hey, A's name is written on this coat. Wait a minute, I didn't even bring my coat today. Why am I wearing one now? This is di <laughs> this definitely isn't my coat. Who's wearing oh, D's that's coat? Pretty funny. Okay. Well, hey, A's uh, name is written in so, this so coat. This is, so this is A's coat. A cannot be an answer because he's not wearing a coat, period. Who's wearing D's this coat? This definitely Could... isn't my coat, so that's definitely not his. Could... Okay, C... C's C doesn't wear... have not a wearing coat. Their coat. He's not supposed to have yes. one, period. So C's coat. It could only be C's coat. If B's coat is A and D's is not... 
and D's is not <laughs> theirs, then it has to be C, right? That was way too close to D's nuts. I'm gonna say D's that. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I D's... finally got Dave with that. I'm so happy. I finally got Dave with yeah. the D's I can't nuts. believe you would just murder a friend. No, oh, in a heartbeat. I but no, That's I've been really... trying to get Dave for like years, and I finally got him last night, and I'm so happy. What did, so how did good. he respond? I feel like I need to know. Like, did he just die on on sight? He was so upset that he lost his win streak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why is this guy's name Silky? Silky Smooth. Oh, oh my God! Oh. What the fuck? This is a guy from that bulk of box. I bet the view from the observation deck would be lovely. Does have quite the view, but we don't have time to stop right now. To the clock shop. No. Please, my future is in danger. My present, present? I guess. Future you is in danger. <laughs> I don't think you this should, is you future you, you at your all. Your future is in danger. <laughs> Your future's in danger. I My present. That, I think that future Luke is a liar and a cheat. This 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 dashing young man <laughs> is ugly, evil as fuck. Disgusting. Midland Road is just on the other side of that door. I'll run ahead and open it. Hey, the door's locked. Locked? That can't be. Step aside, little Luke. I'll get it open. Ha! <laughs> Rips it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strange, it is locked. That's what I said. Look here, you two. There's an unusual set of numbers embedded in the door. Um, it's a it's fucking Luke. puzzle. It's Zach, Luke here, you two. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to open the door, find and place four numbered tiles in the blank spaces so that all conditions set forth by the equations are fulfilled. What the fuck? I want to do more math, Zach! Slide the oh. tile next to another tile to switch their positions. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, okay. What is the arrow? That times what that it, but what that do the arrows that. mean? Uh, it's just going down like left go instead there, of how we normally do equations, going right. So if it's like something plus well, something they... plus equal, then... They equal each other, so either way, it's fine. And since it's addition and multiplication, it doesn't matter too much. So some, so something plus something must equal something times something, right? And then the vice versa. Nine plus six equals three times five. But nine times six does not equal three plus five. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Nine times two nine? equals but three nine. times six. That doesn't make any sense because two plus nine, nine is eleven, not 11. fucking not fucking eighteen. <laughs> well, shit. Also, that also this just makes no sense in any direction that I put it. Um. All right. Fucking five times four. 20. Nothing adds up to 20, so that's obviously wrong. You know what? 9 times 8. Just go really high with it. 72. <laughs> um, 3 times 4 is 6 times 2. 7 and 8. You're really close, though. There's 12. 7... Yeah, never mind. Cause that's seven. Yeah, that's seven and the other thing. That's bullshit. This puzzle sucks. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's always these. Every time we've come across these, this is stupid and I hate it. The top is equal to each other. Come on, puzzles dude. Suck. Come on, and it's Come seven, on, and it's Luke seven. Man, Come on, dude. seven can equal eight. Just let me have this. <laughs> seven can equal eight. <laughs> let me show you some bullshit math that proves that it's real. All right. Oh my god. I know what to. I may not know Dave that well, but I think I know what you guys should. Now this is Ooh. unfortunately for you, Zach. <laughs> Instagram. 
<laughs> Instagram real. All right. Garfy? Garfield. That's exactly what I think it is. You bad cat. Garfield. Oh. You stinky cat. Garfield. Garf. Mm, delicious. <laughs> G Garf. Garfy. Garf. Garf. Grant, it doesn't work. Zach. Grant. Zach. I don't want to do this puzzle. <laughs> Every uh, one of these, I've given you the answer. Do you I want the answer? Do you want the answer? No, I, I want devolved. to know the solution without you giving me the answer, but I also don't want to think about it. <laughs> fucking come on, it's not complicated. It's not fucking rocket science, not dude. Come, it's not come. This whole... Do you want the answer? No! <laughs> I don't... Yes. <laughs> I don't want to do this. 2315. What? 2315. 2315. But what about 1523? Would that also work? Yeah. Okay, I was, the same. I was getting there. The Soros Florida. Grant? I do believe I've got the answer. Zach. In exchange for you being so rude, I have delayed Success. the Kingdom Hearts playthrough by another year. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. We did it. Wonderful work, Big Luke. Gave yourself the answer. <laughs> I think it's a little early for congratulations, Professor. The door still won't open. If the puzzle wasn't keeping the door shut, what is? Well, I suppose it's time for plan B. Dynamite. Oh, it might be... machete. <laughs> ah, let me end. <laughs> but, but, dynamite machete. It might seem like too simple a solution, but would you two help me shove this door? Certainly. It seems we've run out of other options anyway. Ready, everyone? All together on three. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> Oof. Oof. Roblox. Oof! No! Oh! Someone's dead! Finally, God. <clears throat> Who's that I'm so sick of people just street? disappearing in this game. Why can't people just die? Honestly. Too many people die in Ace Attorney, not enough people die in Layton. <laughs> 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 it's hard to believe, but this fellow must have fallen asleep against the door. This just goes to show that every puzzle has an answer, even if that answer is just brute force. Correct! <laughs> well, it has to mess up, because that answer is coming right at us and he looks mad. Think fast, chuckle nuts. Oh, it's fucking Nicholas or whatever. I don't remember who Nicholas. did his voice. I think it was Adrian. I don't know. Hey, why'd you kick down my napping door? <laughs> what the his fuck? napping door. Not only did it hurt, you woke me up. We're terribly sorry, sir. Please understand we had no idea you were there. Oh, <laughs> didn't realize it was you. Look, forget I saw anything. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just feeling kind of queasy, so I'm just gonna head home now. I seem to have driven off that poor, uh, driven that poor man off again. I wouldn't fret over it too much, Professor. Besides, we need to keep moving toward the clock shop. We're just all about there. This is like us on stream, <laughs> me being like, hey, progress, 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 please. It's this way. <laughs> we gotta get going. We gotta get going. <laughs> Then why do you keep stopping us, future Luke? Why am I stopping? What do you mean? <laughs> Did you happen to notice that odd flower growing on the abandoned shop on Southern Midland Road? Southern Midland Upperland Road. Yeah. <laughs> this supposedly it attracts puzzles that have disappeared from the original location. Like a Venus flytrap for puzzle? That's what the rumors say anyway. I've never actually seen it for myself. But if those rumors are true, we'll have the ability to retrieve any puzzles we've left behind. I'd say that kind of reward more than warrants an investigation of the shop. 
What do you say, Professor? What do we have to lose? The shop in question is just a quick stroll away, and being able to visit lost puzzles would be very useful. Then what's the what's fucking you? move? Let's go! That's not right. It's not this one. It's not this one. Where's Midland Road? Not here. Oh, it is. Now it's here. <laughs> it, it back. Southern Midland Road. Fucking, fucking Southern Upper Midland Road. Watch out, Professor. There's a bee over there. What the fuck? <laughs> now, Luke, I'm sure he won't hurt you ready for a new as character? as we no! He'll kill me, you Professor! So? I'm allergic! You know, I've never seen oh, a no. bee quite like this. Can you try talking to him, Luke? I suppose I can give it a shot. Well, look at Mr. Tall out here. Clearly, he knows a bee of distinction when he sees one. It's easily. I'm thoroughly <laughs> intimidated. I've never ever met. <clears throat> Isn't that what I just said? Well, it's true. I'm no run of the IFB, but I do try to blend in. You'd probably have better luck blending in if you didn't talk. Sure, whatever you say, smart guy. But listen, I've got something you should hear. Yeah. You know those puzzles you don't yeah. get around to solving? Well, yeah. they all come hang out with me. You see, I have what you might call one of them magnetic personality. Wait, are you saying you've got the same job as Granny Riddleton? Granny who? I don't know no grannies. But my name is Beasley. I'm going to tell you how to peruse those puzzles now. So listen good. Um, I'm all ears. Is this really something that needed to have full voice acting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to me easily. To see a list of all the puzzles I've got. It's as simple as that. So anytime you get a craving to solve some of the puzzles you left behind, come here. Did that all make sense? Because people tell me I do tend to drone on. <laughs> get it? Drone? <laughs> It makes perfect sense. All right, then. You have fun with those puzzles. Lady, you can put your arms down. You me. <laughs> I'm stuck, Luke. Please help me. I'm stuck, Luke. And they will not be ignored. Why was the first line not read? No, why yeah. were we here? <laughs> because we've yeah. gotten all the secret puzzles so far. Because I'm a it's fucking a gamer, yeah. dude. <laughs> gamer. Fucking put the gay back in gamer. True. Look at this shitty. I want to be happy shitty. again. Oh my oh, god, oh, it's oh. this guy. It's art. Grant, you do it. <laughs> Which of you guys can't see? Can't you see you're standing in the middle of construction site? It's good to see that construction appears to be moving along. <laughs> if only that were the case. Say we hit a snag. Look at these boards here. Those are an odd shape. What are they used for? Nothing right now. I've got cases of these things, but I can't work with them. I need square boards. See, what's got to do? Solve this puzzle. <laughs> Making the cut. Remember this one? Oh, hey! Oh, the piece of wood! In order to cut it and then combine them to make a square! A square. War. Let's see if I've got this right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, though. I thought that was right, though. Is that not right? Because couldn't you just fit it, like, right here? Right? I can you not, can you know. not like, flip and rotate it and shit? The two pieces can't be flipped or rotated after being cut. Fuck. Why? It's a real device. <laughs> it's a real object. No. Fucking dickhead, Why? fucking stupid Yo. construction worker doesn't even know how to flip and rotate things with his fucking mind. I don't even know. With his mind. With his, with his mind. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. I did it. Good work, Zach. Good job. I'm the we best. Did it. You get a gold I'm star, the best. Zach. There you go. You oh my god, wait, what? Way. Uh, did, uh, is that what am I supposed to be able to do that? It says draw lines that show where to make this cut. Oh, fucking okay. I don't know, dude. Since apparently I can just make whatever fucking shape I want. Uh, would you like a hint? Grant, why are you doing this to me? I want. Yeah, you just need. He wants you to tell exist. him the answer, obviously. <laughs> I made an L. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Thinky, thinky. He be thinking. Thinky. There you go. How about that? <laughs> nice. Grant, you're not being very supportive. I said nice. Mm, but you, that's the way you say these things, Grant. Nice, Zach. <laughs> you were very close to your first attempt. I know I was, because I'm a gamer. Gamer. That. How about that? Submit Wait, it. that does work. You won't. You won't. Do oh, it. Yeah. Submit it. Submit it. <laughs> Let's see if I've got this right. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. <laughs> we, didn't even gaming. we didn't even celebrate going over a thousand. True, let's go. Woo! Boop. Boop. Hey, look at that. One cut and I got a square boards now. Thank for the idea, friend. That's bullshit, though. That's not one cut. That's three cuts, and you know it. Uh, but Zach, if the saw never me. leaves the wood, it's technically if one cut. If you're cutting 90 degree angles without the saw leaving the wood, what the fuck? <laughs> I I just Pulls think you're out. not good enough. I think that's what this is. I think you, you think I think saw. you think every saw works like a jigsaw, and I'm here to tell you that that's not a very good movie franchise. <laughs> I think it's yeah. not that great. There's the shop. The door was locked earlier, and no one would answer it when we knocked. I keep getting distracted by Cheeto. <laughs> Cheeto. <laughs> Cheeto. That's because you didn't know the secret knock. Watch this. One, two, three, one, two. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret knock. Go on, try the door now. Yes, we are back. It doesn't look like anyone's here. Saba, this is you. <laughs> Who? Well, look who's back. Ah! What are you doing hiding there? I see you've learned the secret knock. Theory. Actually, it was I who did the knocking spring. Is Cog around? There you are, Luke. Cog's in the back room. Oh, are you friends with the owner of the clock shop, Luke? I suppose I neglected to mention that earlier. Yes, Spring and Cog have been helping me. Is this the only? Is this the only time machine? Yes, I think they said yes. Gotta yet. find out. Well, cause like, cause Saba, if this is the only time machine, then how the fuck has Leighton, Evil Leighton, been stealing scientists from the past? Well, that was oh. his thing, remember? He was also talking about like, oh, creating his own time machine, which is why he's doing whatever. <laughs> yes. And I didn't understand a fucking thing you just said. Cool. <laughs> Cog actually explains the situation better than I do, so you should ask him about it. All right. Let's hear what he has to say. Hello. Folks in the back. I know. I wanted to see if anybody had any puzzles. No puzzles. We've been doing for so you. good so far. So far. What a cool Can you keep looking it up? thing. Can I get one of these installed clock. in my house? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I thought I heard voices up front. Nice to see you again, Professor. And, er, uh, boy. <laughs> Luke, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Professor's apprentice. 
Yes, yes, Luke, of course. Cog, would you mind talking a bit about the whole wormhole and how it all started? He fucking, he has to be lying about his, about his thing. How, why would Cog, who knows who older Luke is, why would he not recognize Luke? <laughs> that doesn't would make you sense. know what, would you know what I looked like 10 years ago? I could probably take a wild guess. <laughs> a wild guess. Yeah, if you if you walked if if a, if a if a ten years younger Grant, like a fucking fucking twelve year old Grant, walked up to me 13. and was like and was like, "Hello, my name is Grant." I'm like, "Why do you have an accent?" <laughs> <laughs> Grant Fair. Grant just keeps trying to misdirect my logic because he's upset that I discovered the big twist of the game too early. No. no. You found about future Luke's cock. I mean, clock. Uh, uh, I think it would help everyone to get on the same page. It would be my pleasure. You... Oh, my God. I just spit all over my mic. Jesus. Yikes. <laughs> Again, uh, you there, Luke. Um, the, the smaller Luke, that is. Yes. Think fast! <laughs> <laughs> Flashbang. Tell me, boy. Uh, does this contraption behind me look, uh, me look like to you? What does it look like to you? Big old clock. I'm not doing it. A I'm big never old what? Grant. <laughs> oh, what? I, could just, I could just feel the air being like, Saba, you should say it. And I'm like, no. What? What is it? <laughs> right, you are. By my estimate, this clock is well over a hundred years old. What? The old gal needs a lot of TLC to keep chugging along. So I spend the quite TV a bit of time... Show? Fucking... Like... <laughs> the TV channel, yeah. Table, yeah, tables, yeah. ladders, and chairs. I'm a big fan of WWE. Anyway. No. Um, I was right in the middle of oiling up her gears one day when two family goons busted in. A goon? Chuck me Ooh. through the skull, they did, but luckily I survived. What the lock fuck jaw. is that? It's Lockjaw. <laughs> you know what that means? You know what he sounds like? There we go. We should talk we <laughs> what we're talking about. And Splinters? Lockjaw and Splinters. Uh, I don't know, Grant. Give me a voice to do for Splinters. Uh, uh... Carl Weezer. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hey, boss. It's, it, this isn't really Carl <laughs> Weezer, but at least it's a voice. There's a big clock over there, Jimmy. <laughs> Just like you said, it's a real antique. Come over and see. Just what do you two think you're doing barging into my shop? And get your hands off my clock. No. <laughs> Any gramps, you don't get to tell us what to do. This guy's don't name you know is Lockjaw really purely went. because his upper jaw was shot off during the war. No one looks exactly. like this. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> don't make fun of me. Yeah, a bunch of blockheads who won't leave my shop. Oh, if I were you, I'd keep a civil tongue in my head, old man. What the fuck? He's so angry. Oh. No, out of the way. We've got. Oh my god. I, I want to. Give me a second. I'm going to mute myself, but I want to try to do Sheen. Jimmy! Jimmy! It's a fucking awful voice, but this is the closest <laughs> I can get to Sheen. <laughs> now, out of the way. We've got a schedule to keep. Oh my god. I can't do this, right? <laughs> uh. What are you clowns patching around for? Get to work. I can't stop. <laughs> I can't. I what? can't just have you be like ninety percent of the good voices and Saba to be the like nine percent remaining or whatever. <laughs> Don't oh, I'm sorry. It's wow. not fair. Way like, to Saba, like Saba, Saba. Saba has like some really good like standard voices that she does, and then every once in a while it's like, hey Grant, here, here's a here's a fucking fastball for you, and you're like, oh, did he say home run? And I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. That's shove this nice. baseball bat deep in your rectum so that way you can go in, fuck in yourself. In my clock. Ah. <laughs> your clock. 
All right. If we don't hurry, things won't be ready by the time you know who talked about. Sorry, Boxstra, we're trying our best, but Gramps here is making things difficult. Don't be a lunkhead. You know how to deal with difficult. Throw them out on the street. Let me go, you dirtbags! We're just trying to go for a little walk, Gramps. That's okay with you, isn't it? A uh, slide? <laughs> <laughs> Keep your filthy hands off my clock, you hear me? <laughs> it's it's just underhanded pitch. It is the fruit is falling off the trees. It couldn't <laughs> be lower. The 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 fruit is burying itself into the earth. It's so low hanging. We're just about on schedule. But we have to wait to turn this thing on until it's exact time the big guy mentioned. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! It's the time the big guy mentioned! That's all I heard before the brutes tossed me out of my own shop. It wasn't until later that I found out that the thugs, what the thugs wanted from my little clock shop. See, the family funded the construction of a time machine by some scientists. Oh my god. Sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing it. Sorry, He's losing I'm dying. it. I think the idea was to use it to create some kind of wormhole or warp point. What the fuck? What kind of sci-fi shit is this? Do you know, uh, and how did they manage to do that? Beats me! It's all mumbo-jumbo, something about opening up a vortex in the flow of time, turning into a Pokemon, saving the world. Anyway, oh, <laughs> fuck it. Anyway, oh, nice. uh, whatever the reason, the plan didn't go as expected as they had... Whatever. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> whatever I... you get no it. Idea. <laughs> I see. And somehow this whole, uh, in time manifested itself in, uh, in or near this clock of yours. That'd be the case, yes. The clock was here tick ticking away for over a hundred years. Probably because it came, it was sent really far back in time, considering it's obviously a fucking time machine. You, you said the clock came? The clock came all <laughs> over the place. It came for a hundred oh. years. It came. Oh my god. <laughs> my guess is that something about the clock's age caused the warp point to gravitate to this spot. Yep. A wormhole, or whatever it's called was pulled here and became part of my clock. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Essentially depressed even, you know? You know, Grant, when you shove something into the wormhole of my clock, that's called sounding. <laughs> the thing is, I'm the only one who can keep the old gal running. Which means, like it or not, Spring and I are the only people who can open and close this wormhole. That's really strange. It's a burden is what it is. Once the family found out uh, what I could do, they forced me to work the clock for them. Day and night, working the clock <laughs> nonstop. Up and down. Up and down. Palaces <laughs> on my fingers. <laughs> It's so underhanded pitches and I love them all. <laughs> After a while I caught wind of Cog's situation. <laughs> working the clock! He's working the clock day and night! Look, away. My boy came to save me with so much <laughs> lubricant! So much lubricant! The clock suddenly worked so much better! I could get it to came! No. <laughs> <laughs> Up to my knees, I was a lubricant. Anyway. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure it goes without saying, but Cog isn't part of the family. I'm gonna stop fact, dripping from the nose. <laughs> <laughs> the family's been nothing but a source of trouble for poor Cog. 
It sure sounds that way. Knowing so that, I... <laughs> I approach Cog and Spring and explain my idea to them. After getting them on board with my idea, Cog fired up the machine and helped me get my uh -huh, message he to sure you. sure fired it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and upon receiving your letter, my curiosity took myself and Luke on a journey that led us here. That's quite the plan you drummed up, Big Luke. Thank you, but it's about to get even more interesting. <laughs> big Luke! That's uh, a great yeah. name! I will call this <laughs> the Big Clock! The, the biggest big clock, clock we've ever seen! <laughs> oh my god! Working it <laughs> day and night, night People and People coming day. near and far to see the biggest clock! <laughs> Oh Bostro God. comes in the door and he's like, how is my clock doing? And I'm like, I need soft and let me sleep. <laughs> you, I am so dehydrated. You have to understand. <laughs> and Bostro just goes, oh, you get all of your hydration from the clock. <laughs> Would we be making oh. would we be making Adrian proud right now? We would. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian would have loved this bit. I'm glad that I found like a groove with this voice so I can just say whatever the fuck I want as the clockmaker. <laughs> Fucking cog. Saba, what does Drick mean? Just Drick it, Zach. I did. What that was that? my sip. Fuck it. Drink. Oh, because I was yelling about being dehydrated. All right, let's see what's more interesting than the big clock. Oh? Professor, with Cog's help, we can send you and little Luke back to your own time. <laughs> so not about the clock stuff, but like now I'm thinking about it where it's like, well, you see, Professor, there's actually no limit to how far back we could send a message. So logically we could get you as a child or we could get your ancestor or we could get your ancestor who colonized japan <laughs> <laughs> oh no <clears throat> i call it the animus <laughs> oh no oh no you'll be able to ask inspector Tell me no. all the questions you want. No. <laughs> no. What's his name? We're not the, leaving. You'll be able to ask the inspector all the questions you want. I will allow you to pass mm. on this this one time, young man. All right? Hmm. Mm. Mm. But when you're done chatting, you will come back to put a stop to what's going on here, won't you? When we're done chatting, you will come. You will come. That is a promise. Luke, uh, uh, you of all people should know to, uh, the answer to that question. I keep my promises, and I intend to solve the problems here. It's what a gentleman would do. Thank you, Professor. That was exactly the answer I was hoping for. You are He's looking so really doubtful, you, you know? You are so <laughs> fucking evil. Like, so enormously <laughs> evil. <laughs> well, I wouldn't dream of leaving things here in this state. You said it yourself, Big Luke. The only one who can stop Herschel Layton is Herschel Layton himself. But it would not be difficult to defeat an evil Luke. <laughs> Quite right. My apologies. I should have never doubted you. I mean... Can I... If, can I just... If he just went back, I'm assuming still if he went back, he's still gonna do the same thing, because isn't that how time shenanigans work? I don't... That, do that might not be how they decided to make time work in this. I'm not sure. Isn't that always the thing with like time travel media? It's like, okay, how does your time travel work? And if it's not yeah. the best form of time travel, which is essentially equivalent to string theory, I don't give a fuck. Fuck Go you. Go fuck yourself, Endgame. All right. Oh, uh, here We're we going go. Back. Oh my God, Gotta the get clock. Back, back to the past. The big clock. Oh, so it big is clock. Did it, did back it. in time. Back in time. You're positively green. We're actually so far back, we are now in the primordial soup. 
<laughs> Kick back our ancestors. Did that be the time, time sickness? sickness? Time sickness. Wait. The first jump I made, I felt the same way. I get, but I guess this would be Luke's second, so maybe because he's a stupid baby child that he'd still feel it. Or Probably. maybe going from the future back into the past is like harder. Maybe okay. that's a good point. Well, Cog, we're going to head off now and see what we can find out. Sounds good. I'll be here with the big clock. <laughs> so enormous. <enough>. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Excellent. I was wondering how we'd contact you if you if you went back to your own time while we were out. Yep. That's the pain. Uh, that'd be a pain, all right. Now you two should skedaddle. I'd like to get home in time for dinner. You know, because the family just allows me to leave, I guess. Why are you here? <laughs> She's saying the same thing. I'm She's a robot. Dad. She's an animatronic, just like the rest of the fucking goons. It's wow, this place looks professor. like We're back in our time. It's London, so yeah. I forgot I forgot it was in like a shitty alley. Cause in the future this is all like open. <laughs> yeah. The surroundings here certainly do seem familiar. Whew. You know all this time travel has really worn me out. Yes, I could do with a rest myself, but we mustn't keep Cog waiting. You're right, so shall we go? Inspector Scrivener. Perfect, Luke. Well done. That will be your. Uh, that will be our second stop. First, I'd like to run by my office at the university. So we are taking a break. Not quite. I need to do a little prep work for my session with Inspector Scrivener. Perhaps, my boy. It's uh, preparation. Prep. What? Fucking correct. Moving on. <laughs> Yes, Professor. Preparation it is. Now that we're back on uh, in our own time, we can reach the university by bus in a matter of minutes. Let's go, Luke. Oh my god, it's this guy. Yeah. Do you know how hit coins work? <laughs> we only have like five minutes until Grant leaves, so... Yeah. Uh, nice to see you. Too. Give us a little, little, little bit of advice. You can earn these. Of course, you're going to talk about picker rats. It's not a great secret. I have a puzzle. <laughs> He's trying to stay relevant. He's like, no, wait, uh, uh, puzzle. <laughs> you, you guys do puzzles, right? <laughs> to find the clock tower in the village below, just follow these directions. Go straight and take the first left. Take the next right and then the next left. It'll be right in front of you. At which spot, A through H, is the clock tower located? Uh, it said, so it's straight and then first left. Right. Take the next right. Straight. That's a right. Straight, first left. Then take a right. Uh, then take a left? That, so it can't be C. God, I'm so confused. All right. <clears throat> Memo. Uh, straight. Left. Right. Left. left. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it! All right. S straight. Right. That immediately gets fucked. Uh, straight. Left. Left. Uh, left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Fuck. Left. It's the same problem. Left. What have I done? Am I stupid? Oh, because this is right. Left. My bad. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What? what? I'm doing it right. Left. That's a left. Straight. Left. Right. Right again. Nothing exists in this building. Everything is gone. Nothing exists. You know what? What if right. we did it back? What if we did it backwards? Uh, so it's so it's straight, 
It's straight, left, right, left. Right? So, what if we do... What if we do right, left, right, straight? And we go backwards. Fuck in. That's a right. Coming from this direction, that's a right. Left. Uh, that would be a left coming from this direction. I'm going to say it's F. Purely Please because say. I have no idea. Stop making me circle shit. Just let me click it. Is no. it F? Is Here's it F? F for Damn it. failure. I am a failure. failure. <clears throat> My head hurty. It's been too long. All right. Um... Fucking, I don't know. Go straight, left, right, left. And then another left. So is it A? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Let's try that. How many, how many possible answers could there Here's be? Here's my answer. Nope, I'm stupid. Nope. Only A through H. Okay, go, wait. To find an island in the village below, you just follow D to wait. <laughs> I'm straight. Can't be there. Here's my answer. Zach, just let me, I wanna look, give me a second. He's brute forcing I wanna, it. I wanna look. Well, I don't know what to fucking tell you, Saba. We were doing this for like a couple minutes and you didn't solve it then. I want... <sighs> There's gonna be you no areas me. left. The clock tower is in the middle of town. That makes sense, you know? It makes sense that it'd be in the... Never mind. The <laughs> clock tower is actually at the far corner of town. If I had to build a clock tower, I would put it there, I think. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> I knew it! You oh are a disappointment, God. sir. It was literally Sad just a face. zigzag. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I kept I kept Yay. fucking bamboozling myself. So next week we will be back in uh real London. Back in the present London. Back in the present. Back real London? The... Are you saying something about that? That's not actually the future London. Well Is our Grant? fucking huh? time. Oh. Our huh? fucking Are you to say Grant Grant accidentally just revealed that uh that the future that we were in is fake. I knew it. Oh. Um. All right. So yeah, Grant's gotta go. But Grant, uh, yes. what time uh, would you be okay with uh, streaming tomorrow at 3 p.m. your time, or is that too early? We start at two. We start at 1:30 usually. For we've been starting uh, at 1:30 because that was the earliest that Jesse was available. Normally, we actually start at three. So I'm asking you right now: Would you be able to start at three, or or would you prefer that we do it a little bit later, like four or something like that? Uh, three should be fine. How are we doing the four hours? So three to s wait. Are you sure three my time or three your three time? Three your time. Really? No, sorry. Okay. Noon your time. Yeah. Three yeah, my three time. Your... Sorry. Confusion. Yes. That's how this okay. works. I forget that shit doesn't work between us. All right. Yes. Three my time. Noon your time. Is that too early? Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm curious as to what we'd be doing. Well, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to find out. All right. Well, that was fun. All right. Cool. Um. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That is normally when we that is normally when we would do Sunday streams, right, Saba? Yes, that. Well. Why are you Why are you on the other side of the room? Cause I Cause I am. What the fuck, dude? I have to grab something. What a What an absolute motherfucking dickhead! No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um. All right. I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to do, I don't know, you want to do Vampire Survivors again? Anyone have any nominations for something we can do? We can't do, we can't do Layton. <clears throat> I mean, I'm fine with that. We just talk again. Sure. I was having fun yesterday. All right, let's do that. Uh, quit. And let's get out of here. Let's turn that off. Turn this one back on.
Uh, yeah, okay. We're back to vampire survivors. Because vampire survivors is very easy to talk over. <laughs> There we go. We are back with Vampire Survivors. All right. Then I'm back over here. Let's see. Um, oh. I don't know. Uh, I'll uh, I'll get a run going if you want to pick a topic. Let me look at it. She doesn't even know. She doesn't. She doesn't even. She doesn't even fucking pay um. attention, dude. Why do companies love soda can? Yeah, so um, one of the things that uh, I've had to suffer through is um, when the... How do I explain this? When we don't have anything in, imme in the immediacy to do, uh, the American Red Cross forces us to... Uh, use like their their internal training service, right? Um, it's it's not literally useless, but it's effectively useless because who gives a shit about any of the stuff that they're teaching us? But anyway, the reason why I bring this topic up of like uh, fucking uh, companies love the soda can is that there were like nine videos that were all about how the design for the soda can is one of the most brilliant pieces of innovation ever. Uh, the, the idea, because I did end up watching one of the videos, the idea was that there was an original, um, there was an original design to the soda can. It was much more like purely cylindrical. Um, but you know how like soda cans have like, they have like the little curve at like the top, like the, 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 the con, the concave curve near like the top and bottom and whatnot. Um, yeah. That curve uh, was, it, that, that curve accomplished so many things like on a, on a, uh, on a case by case basis. So like the, the number one thing that it did was it actually made soda cans more structurally uh, uh, stable, right? So it takes more effort to crush a soda can by pressing down on it, right? So that was one thing. So by default, it that that was one thing was that it just made it, you know, more structurally sound. The second thing that it did was by doing those concave curves at the top and the bottom, it reduced the amount of aluminum that a soda can would use to be uh, be manufactured by like 13% or something crazy like that. Like, like a pretty significantly high number. So straight up selling the exact same amount of soda in a vessel that used 13% less aluminum, but was also more like stronger, meant that it was just all like across the board, one of the best innovations that, uh, you know, ever, ever hit like the public market. And it was this, and it was this, I don't know, it was interesting the first time I read about it, I guess, or, or, uh, or I watched the video on it, but there were fucking like, 13 videos on the Precipio training site that that we were using and every single video was exactly the same where it's like dude do you know how awesome the soda can is and I don't know I just thought it was kind of crazy yeah it's interesting that sometimes like super mundane things are like this is like the most ingenious piece of crafting ever to exist ever anywhere well, because like, because the, because, because my perception of what the, my perception of what the videos were essentially trying to do was to, because, because I don't, I don't know how familiar you are with this, but like innovations, like a huge buzzword in business circles nowadays. It's just like just saying the word innovation gets a project manager hard, and so it's like. I think I feel like the reason why they keep talking about how innovative the 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 soda can is like the soda the, the the modern design for a soda can is almost purely because they need to like they feel the need to validate like like the action of the act of innovating for the sake of innovation is something that they claim is like important and significant to do. 
in a, in a really weird way. Because, like, the reason why they innovated the soda can design was because somebody had a good idea. Not because they just felt like doing it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. Um, it's, it's a, it's a, it, it was a really weird period of time just, like, watching a bunch of those videos back to back. Because it was just, like... I don't know. They, they were just all saying the same thing. And, like, which was just stating the history of the soda can while also saying literally nothing, which was baffling yeah. to me. So, yeah. That's basically it. There's not really a discussion for that, per se. It was more just something that I wanted to share because it kind of blew my mind. Well, that was certainly interesting, I could say, yeah. Uh... Let's see... I think I saw one more thing that I was like, that's interesting. Oh yeah, you talked about near. The what's, near, what's going on? The near yeah. hoax. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I don't know how uh up to date or you know, whatever you are on uh internet culture and stuff like that, but uh you're obviously familiar with near automata in general. So have yes. you heard about did, did you hear anything about the hoax that happened? A little, uh, like last week or two weeks ago? No. Okay, so Nier Automata, enormously popular, obviously, as you know. Um, and Yoko Taro, the, 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 the guy who is the creative mind behind Nier Automata, is infamous for being a, like, a liar and, you know, he, he'll just put, like, random secrets, in, like, in, yeah, like, he's exactly the type of person that would put a secret in a game that wasn't intended to be discovered for, like, a decade, right? Like, he's exactly that type of person. Mm -hmm. um, so, when a video hit uh, the Near subreddit, uh, like, two weeks ago, there was this guy who, uh, he spoke, like, not the greatest English, uh, well, I mean type the greatest English, I guess, but like, uh, he, he, clearly English was not his first language. And uh, he just, he made a post that was just, it was just a text post that was like, hey, um, do you guys know how to get into the church on this level? And people are like, what are you talking about? There's no church on that level. You you played Nier Automata, right? Mm hmm You remember when you get into the copied city and there's like that, uh, there's like that part where you're fighting, I think his name's Adam. Um, yeah. Right, and and it's like it's like a uh, it's like a little bit of like just uh, it, it's a little bit like a not a boss rush per se, but it's just like a bunch of enemies, and you have to fight them all, and then Adam returns to the battlefield, and you fight him a couple times, and you just repeat that yeah. over and over. Um, the guy was claiming that yeah, during that fight, he saw that there was a prompt on one of the nearby walls, and so he went over to go hit it, and it opened up a secret door that led to a shaft that led to a uh, church underground. And people immediately were like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's not real, like that doesn't exist, yada yada. And so uh, like a couple weeks goes by and the guy posts a video of exactly what we just described, right? Where it's like, he's in that fight, he's killing a bunch of enemies, suddenly a very subtle like prompt shows up on a nearby wall. He goes over, he opens it, it leads to a shaft. But the shaft doesn't lead, like in the video that he posted, the shaft didn't lead to uh, uh, a church. It led to like a library or something like that. Which, like a, just like a different room, right? And so immediately a vast majority of the near fan base and by extension, a large portion of like the internet, like gaming culture online in general, immediately starts going nuts. Cause what is this? That's insane, right? Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask you, Saba, what do you... Well, I, I obviously, obviously because of the topic, you know it was a hoax, right? But if I didn't tell you that it was a hoax, what do you think it would be? Um... Like, potentially, like, an Easter egg or something that's, like... So, like, so like a secret that existed yeah. in the game, right? Yeah. So, uh, Yoko Taro confirmed wholesale uh, over three years ago, I think at this point, that the final secret in Nier Automata had been discovered already, right? But once mm -hmm. again, Yoko Taro is definitely the type of person who would just lie, right? 
There, there, there's oh, okay. nothing to suggest that he wouldn't just lie. I also just realized, did I switch my, I didn't switch my category. Oops. <laughs> I mean, you didn't before either. So I was just like, listen, dude, it's hard mm -hmm. to remember because I don't see it on my screen. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So yeah, Yogotaro is definitely the type of guy who would just lie because he think it would be, he, he thinks it would be funny if there was a secret that no one knew about, right? Like he's exactly that type yeah. of guy. But alternatively, somebody w uh, like people were thinking like, oh, well, it's probably just a mod, right? It's probably just somebody who modded in a new area to the map and yada yada. But there is a modding community who has been trying to mod near Automata for a very long time. And so a bunch of those mm -hmm. people from the near modding subreddit came over and stated definitively that modding technology has not hit like modding for near automata is not even remotely capable of editing the map files in near automata yet so it's, it's just like mm -hmm. like like uh, they just said straight up like this is not a thing that can happen and it's like oh okay that's interesting so it doesn't appear to be a mod it might be a real secret and not only that but the church and the library are both references to um the uh fucking Dragon Guard series, which was the which was the series that Yokotaro did before uh, the original Nier, and so people were like, "Oh my God, is this like is this is this like a secret thing talking about Dragon Guard Four? Right? Like it could be anything. Who knows what it could be?" And genuinely, the internet's collective imagination was gripped by this event, being like, "What could it be? It could be anything." And the long and the short of it was that after a while, um, the the guy that was making posts and answering questions uh, about the thing started making a bunch of really cryptic posts. And, and people were like, ah, it's a hoax. Okay, I understand now. And it turns out that it was a hoax from the very get go. The guy was the the guy was the leader of a independent group of modders who had figured out how to edit map files in near and, and yeah. this was their and this was their way of doing like an arg like big event to to announce that their mod was going was going to be available to the public or whatever so on oh. one hand that's still really cool like it's sad that it's not like a big secret whatever but it's still really cool that they were able to do this thing right um but at the same time i can't help but feel a little disappointed <laughs> because I was like, oh, yeah. it'd be really cool if it was another Yoko Taro game or something, you know? Mm hmm. But yeah, that's yeah. the that's the that's the whole Thanks that's the more. whole near hoax thing. There was a there was a lot of videos, a lot of screenshots that he did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Near's such a good game. I, you know, that like I'm unsurprising that people are like oh my gosh like they would want more of course yeah Let's see okay uh my child's invisible diary sure this is another one that's not really a discussion topic it's just like a thing um the know. my mom watches a lot of like boomer television, right? Stuff like uh, stuff like Property Hunters and uh, The View. This one in particular is about The View. Are you familiar with the show? Yes. So. Yeah. Um. So The View does this segment where they uh, they just hawk like, <laughs> admittedly like shitty pro <laughs> products. Uh. uh and whatnot and it's just the sort of thing where it's like you know you know they're, they're trying to make money and, and i can respect that i guess but the um on uh, uh i was making food and i saw that they were doing one of those segments and so i do i was kind of like half listening in and i was uh frankly quite shocked at the product that they were selling on the screen which was a uh it was a diary that had black pages 
and the uh the pen had an ink that would glow in the that would glow when you shine black light on it in the dark right so the idea was that Ooh. like the, the the front end was that all of the packaging and stuff for this diary was like oh it's a place to keep all of your biggest secrets and stuff right so all of the packaging all of the marketing was talking about how it was for your kids to write their deepest darkest secrets right but hmm. when you buy the when you buy the product it comes with a second box which has a second black light in it and a second key to open the diary so straight and, and straight up, the purpose of this product is that you tell your kids that it's a secret and safe way to write their, you know, darkest secrets and stuff. And then you go behind their back into oh their diary God. and read about it. And the, and the lady who was on this, the lady who was like, you know, talking about it, she was like, yeah, you know how kids don't want to tell their parents anything anymore. They'll just they'll just go to social media and talk to their friends instead of their parents. So this, so I created uh, this. I, I created this product so that way uh, parents can keep abreast of uh, their, you know, what their kids are doing. And I don't know. I found it fucking horrifyingly disgusting and invasive. <laughs> I was, I was just thinking, like, how about you, like, I don't know, try to communicate better with your kid? Like, no, 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 no. Friend... It would be so much easier to just lie to them, Saba. Don't be silly. Well, no, what, what I'm saying is, I know sometimes, like, <laughs> kids are, like, douchebags and, like, you, like being, like, sometimes they're just, like, on, like, hormone or whatever. They're just, like... They're on hormone. They're on hormone. And, and they just, like, their hormones cause them to just be, like, no, like, uh, irrational. I think irrational is the word I'm trying sure, to find. Sure, yeah. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, it's like, well, what do you, how do you ration, like, rationalize with someone who's irrational? And it's like, okay, I, I guess, right? And that is, like, a bit of a bummer, but it's like, I hope, you know, the better solution is to, like, still try to communicate or, like, like, uh, or at least just like deal with the, like just thinking. deal with the concept yeah. that like your kid's not gonna tell you everything. Like yeah. is that like is that really like is that really like the end of the world that your kids just not like no, sometimes your like, kids just not gonna tell you stuff. You, right, like at least be able to like tell your kid that it bugs you because like of your relation. Like I don't know, just be able to express yourself at least that it annoys you. And it's like the kid may be mean about it, the kid may not be mean. Like, there, of course, there are some times where, like, where you have to know, right? Like, about, like, you know, I don't know. Like, uh, like if they're feeling depressive or stuff. suicidal or whatever, like, sure, like, that's a circumstance yeah, where you would obviously like... want to know. But if it's just, like, yeah. but if it's just stuff like, oh, I have a crush on so-and-so or whatever, because cause one of the things that, um, <laughs> one of the things that I thought of was, like, what if, because, like, I'm thinking of, like, the type of person who would buy this, right? The type of parent that would buy this would be extremely controlling, right? But imagine if in their diary that they that they truly and honestly believed was secure, imagine if their kid secretly admitted to being, like, homosexual in some way, and, like, their parent was like, what the fuck, and, like, exploded at them. You know what I mean? I mean like that's it, the type of scenario that it's just like. I don't know when this like, was created, but like I don't know if that would have been an issue back then or like that was. I like mean, a it would definitely be though. more of a. It would be more of an issue it, back then. <laughs> this well, yeah, was, but but it's like if kids like wrote about that stuff to begin with back then. I'm I'm wondering if like that's what they. Well, I mean, wrote like in their you know, I mean, like written. regardless of what era of, in the world it was, people like I think it was. I I think I think instead of it being like kids didn't write about, you know, who they had, like, attraction to. I think it was more along the lines of, like, a, like... I snuck a parent, out, like, a, last a parent, night. A parent, or... would, <laughs> a, a parent would interpret their affection as, like, oh, they're really good friends. No, yeah, you know? but I'm saying, like, so, in, I mean, in general, what you're talking about is, like, something that would... It's just a disgusting invasive and uh, like like even like even yeah. if the parent is like not an understanding type of person, it's still a disgusting invasion of pir uh, of privacy. You know what I mean? Of oh, piracy. Of oh, piracy, yeah. <laughs> Listen, dude, uh, I've been yeah, I'm dying. So it's like yeah, the kid like snuck out or something, but it was like more or less benign, you know, but like the parent But I mean like, like but I mean like think about that, right? Imagine like imagine like you're invading your kid's privacy, so you go into their diary and you read about oh how they snuck out a couple nights ago and 
you know, uh, I don't know, and, I, and, 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 like, and like went to go see a movie with their friends, and then suddenly the next maybe. day, your your parent your your parent is like, hey, you're not allowed to see that friend anymore ever again. They're a bad influence on you, and you're like, what yeah. the fuck? What happened? Yeah, it's like uh, I, was, I thought I, I had a thought in my head, but I forgot. I'm sorry. I know I keep talking over you. Uh... But yeah, um, I don't know. I think okay. it stems from. Oh yes, okay, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would prefer, even if it's like still bad, right? I would still prefer you kind of guilt trip your kid into being like, oh, well, it's not even guilt trip. Like if if like they don't tell you something, you like if you feel sad about it, you're allowed to express you feel sad about it, right? And I like, wish you would talk to me more. Guilt, yeah. Yeah, air quote guilt trip them into kind of like wanting to tell you eventually, you know? I mean, so, I, I think, I think that, like, like, I don't know. Obviously, like, even if you're, like, hypothetically, even if you're the, like, the perfect parent, uh, it's still entirely likely that you won't have, like, the perfect, like, connection with oh, yeah. your kid. Oh, yeah, once again, your irrationality so, to a certain degree, right? No, exactly, and, 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 I'm, and, I, and I'm agreeing with that. I'm, ag I'm agreeing yeah. with that concept, because it's just, like, no matter like no matter how well you did your job as a parent it's not it's not it's not guaranteed and your child doesn't owe you to you know talk about everything with you like just because I you're would concerned say if anything, but at the same I time like i think it's okay be, to there... go to your kid and be like i you know i if anything is wrong I'd please like let know. me know yeah. yeah yeah i would say the only other thing that i feel like people maybe can learn more about is like Finding the signs of troubling secrecy, you know, like finding what behavior is attributed to secrecy. That's like of the because, you know, sometimes, you know, kids get sometimes when kids are hiding something, they get like really nervous. Right. But it's like, what are the differences between like malicious intent in like their secrecy? Um, or like, like, just, like, am oh, I, like, like, am I hiding kid. the fact that I've been stealing like 20s out of mom's purse? Or something, you know. Yeah, but even even more malicious than that, I would say. I'm sure. Yeah, like that, um, the really concerning type of malicious, because wow. it's like obviously I like murdered the my one, sister. One of the <laughs> sure, or uh, but like obviously the it's the idea like the one case you have like against for like you should read your kids' secret stuff is for things like that, like oh I I know the combination to my dad's gun safe and i'm not happy with school like you know stuff like that um but but like, like that's but, one of the arguments right for right but, the, it, but, but it's the, like we, but it's such a weird but it's such a weird argument right because like how likely is it that you are yeah, in particular going to and, get that and, and also would, like would why would you. like i don't know i guess mm -hmm. uh, now that now that now that you talk about it i guess that type of person would want a diary to express their feelings to right because usually somebody who is that like emotionally troubled just doesn't feel like they have the avenues to communicate but then again they probably don't have the avenues to communicate because you're because you're the type of parent who would invade their privacy <laughs> rather than like you know getting them therapy or something because that's the thing like no, yeah, like, so. like why would you why would you like if you think that your kid has a problem why would you get this cockamamie nonsense instead of like i don't know putting them in therapy or something i don't know I'm not sure about the therapy thing, but I mean, ultimately, uh, even with that case being presented, I think the likelihood is low enough to where you probably don't need to do that. So instead, I think the attention should be brought to recognizing troubling patterns of behavior rather than just reading the diary. Right. And I mean, like, how, like, because how often is the stuff in the diary just going to be benign, like, just teenage angst? I had a dream last night where I was snuggling with the dog. Right, exactly. <laughs> like it'll benign. be, like, it'll be 99% yeah. that nonsense. But then again, like, I don't know, because it, it's obviously, like, like, they're trying to replicate, like, what if you could read your kid's mind, right? Because, like, imagine, imagine, like, another scenario where, like, your, your kid puts in their diary exactly what they want for Christmas and you just so happen to get it and you label it as like from Santa, you know? So that's like a positive thing you would say? Well, cause it's a positive in that, like that seems like that is a, it is a good intention use of a very bad invasion of privacy. You know what I mean? 
in a weird yeah. way because it's like if, yeah. if if i wanted something really bad for christmas and i told someone about it it would be less special than if they just somehow knew that i wanted figured it, it out yeah yeah exactly I can, I can definitely see that so that's like another and that's just like another scenario in, in like this whole thing I would say it's it's like I would say maybe it's so difficult because like what if you'd want to do that because I feel like that would be so much fun doing that for kids right especially with the whole Santa thing um I feel like that'd be a delightful thing to do it's like how would you go about it in, well like, I mean that's literally why you write way. letters to Santa yes oh perfect that, like that's exactly why letters to santa exist is because you're telling your kid like oh i'm gonna put it in the thing and you walk over well, don't to you the... actually put it don't some kids put it in the mail though well so the thing is is that um depending on the mail where work? depending so normally i don't i don't know if this is how it works all over the place but i know that it, i know that when we lived in hudson for that very short period of time uh or at least to me it was a short period of time i guess um when they when you mailed something to the north pole obviously the north pole doesn't fucking exist and you would label it as santa so the idea is that uh you would do it ahead of time and then it would just return to sender oh, so the parents so the parents the would just take it yeah okay yeah, so I don't, okay, like, so like I said, I don't know if that's how like, it works everywhere, but that's if, how it worked in kid, Hudson. If the kid was like, you don't get to read it, Mommy, and then they, like, closed it and, like, they put it in the And they put it in, like, the blue post. mailbox or whatever. Yeah, it like, would theoretically they, like, get returned to go. sender so you could just look at it, like, a like a couple days down the line anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so there you go. I now, I do have a question better. for you, and I think this is, like, yeah. this is, like, kind of a hypothetical. Or I guess it's literally a hypothetical. But, um... Let's say you have a kid. Do you own that kid? Uh, you are responsible for that kid. Do you which own is some that kid? That ownership. was my question. Yes, I, I understand that. Which I, And that's why I said being responsible in some way, I think also could say ownership. You have ownership of the kid. Okay. The reason I ask is because I feel like the one, like just tying it back into the same kind of idea. I feel like the type of person who feels like no remorse for invading their child's privacy with the my first invisible diary or whatever is the exact same type of person who truly believes that their kid is like their property. Like a, like 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 how your car is your property. Yeah, there's yeah, you're talking about owning as in property versus like I said like responsibility is a little bit own ownership ish. Yeah. Well, I, like, cause okay. I, I don't know if responsibility is the same as ownership. Like, I, like, like, I, I agree wholesale with you saying like, oh, it's not like, you know, you have responsibility for X, Y, and Z. I super agree with that. Like, that makes a lot of sense to me. But like, I don't know. There, there's a, there's a lot of stuff where it's just like, I see a lot of examples of particularly older women who are just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, stuff that you know stuff that i obviously don't necessarily agree with but once again that's just my personal my personal take like like let me ask you it, once again you have a kid uh and your kid is misbehaving will you strike your child i don't think so i think i'd rather use other techniques to, like... i feel like if i like as a, like if i was a parent i feel like if i have to resort to like physical threat against my child then i have failed as a parent because I feel like there is yeah, I, an enormous think, amount of like tools someone, that you should have used before that point. I, I feel like something could result in someone getting mad enough. Not like a kid like separate from you, but if like a kid's like clinging on to you, like for like not for dear life, but like they're just they won't let you go. Like I could imagine in that case, like someone getting mad enough to be like like stop, like tapping their hand when it gets close to them. Sure, but I I mean I mean like I mean like either like spanking your child or using like a switch to like. Yeah, when, if, if you're talking correction. about, like, separately from, like, that. Because the only other thing I could, like, think of where someone, like, taps, like, not, like, spank on the butt or anything, but, like, taps, like, the kid. It's like, oh, you know how, like, when kids burn their hands and, and like, they bring it back and, like, the mom, like, hits, like, don't do that. Like, don't do, like, what I don't know fuck? if that's supposed to image. What are you, well, okay, so I think I know what you're talking about, but if your, if your child just burned their hand, don't fucking swat their hand. Are you insane? No, I, I get it. I was just about to, like, say why <laughs> I think that happens. I think it's because, like, they're supposed to, like, it's reinforcing the idea, like, that it hurts, like, 
why did you do that? Like, obviously this hurts. Duh. Um, but like, yeah, I don't, like for in terms of like separately, like the kid did something bad and then I like, I was like, okay, punishment time. And then you would spank him. I'm like, probably not. Like, I probably I, wouldn't like, do that. like, I don't know. Obviously I am in no, I am in no context to have like any sort of like well-formed opinion on how it is to be a parent or whatever. But like the way that I, the way that I interpret things is like, if you are enough of a role model to your kid that the mere thought of disappointing you is enough of a deterrent from them misbehaving or, or like or like you know in, in, See, in i would a, find that preferable, preferable i would find yeah, that like, super preferable yeah. exactly yeah i would say like make yeah making me feel disappointed in you should be the biggest like should make you feel the worst because like that's just, like you know as we've already them. established that's just a deterrent in and of itself and that's extremely useful yeah so I would say, like, um, I know some like, that's a, the annoying thing is, like, sometimes you have to, like, experiment a little bit to figure out, not with, like, hitting, but you have to experiment with, like, ways of, like, seeing what the most effective with thing is. But I know a lot of people. Your child. You have to, yes, you have course. to partially drown your child before you know that they're, that, that you, that you've dealt with them correctly. I agree. I'm obviously but, just uh, yanking, I'm obviously just yanking no, your no, chain, no, yeah, but I, I, I but do I, also yeah, know I, I, people in real life that do believe that, <laughs> so. I know. Um, but, like, I know, like, anything else, though, that could, like, displease a kid, some people would call it emotional abuse, which is also, like, really annoying, because it's like, oh, well, if I'm gonna use, like, uh, okay, kid, I'm not gonna respond to you at all because you, like, you bothered me and I'm, like, disappointed, I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm not gonna do anything, some people could call that being emotional, emotionally manipulative. I think, which I'm I like, think it's similarly, just, uh, I think similarly to a lot of like mental health stuff, figuring out exactly what constitutes emotional abuse as a parent is, it, 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 it's extremely difficult to ascertain almost purely because it's like, I, I agree with you. The idea of like giving, uh, giving a misbehaving child the cold shoulder just so that way the child, you know, like, I would prefer to do that over beating a child, right? Like I've I've obviously established that as a as a preferable alternative. But at the same time, depending on how often you do that sort of thing, it will fuck up your kid. <laughs> so well, sure. it, it depends on like, right? What is the intention? But it's also like how often, right? Because it's like the idea of ignoring, right, your kid is to make a point, right? And once you've made the point, you sh you probably don't need, you shouldn't need to have to repeat it again, you know? Versus the... someone who just does it to make the kid feel bad, there's like, a, there's a difference. Right, but it's hard, but it, but it's hard to, like, I, the thing is that I think, I don't think a lot of parents consciously make that choice. I think a lot of I think a Not lot of late. parents just kind of do because you know it's exhausting being a parent and you can't be expect mm -hmm. and I don't think it's reasonable to expect a parent to do the correct thing all the time but I I think that there is a pretty large number of parents that just don't think about it at all like you know I don't I don't know I don't necessarily want to make this about me but it's just like I know that my mom has on multiple time uh, on multiple occasions. Uh, talked about her frustration with how illogical kids can be, right? Where it's just I, like- I feel that sometimes. I wish like, cause like, you're like, if only kids would like get it, right? And like a simple concept you talk and they're just like, they don't care or whatever. And you're just like, wow, thanks kid. Well, no, cause I mean, it's more along the lines of like, like my mom was, uh, my mom was babysitting my, my cousin or my, uh, my, my cousin's newborn child. Right. So he's like, he, like when oh, she was like watching him, he was less baby? than he was. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it extends to like older kids too, but like she was watching yeah. a baby baby, like less than a year old. And she was talking about like, oh, he knows what he's doing when he's making noise in the other room. He's no, he knows he's just trying to like okay, interrupt me watching TV. TV. That's a little stupid. That's a little dumb <laughs> for kids that young, especially like. No, but I mean, it's the same thing where it's just like, like she, like, uh, she has the exact same statements about like eight year olds. Where like, sure, eight year old is obviously a lot Some older cats, yeah. than a yeah. one year old, but just because they're older doesn't mean that they have complete understanding as to like what they're doing or what it means. Like, I think that's one of the reasons why kids in middle school are so fucking mean to each other is because they have figured out how to 
socially interact Dang with it, one another, and they don't understand the ramifications of being shitty. You the know? thing is, it's also a really simple loop. Like, your mom may be right in that, like, the kid knows that crying will get at something, you know? Because, like, it's a really simple conditioning loop where it's like, oh, well, cry, I, mean, it's, I it's get It's probably, something. like, part instinct, right? The idea of a yeah, baby yeah, crying so... and knowing that that's going to, like, get some sort of parent to come get it or something. But, yeah. Yeah, so it's, like, to a certain degree, yes. Um... But it's like, when they grow up, that's why, that's kind of how you have to, like, teach them now. It's like, okay, well, you're not living, like, you don't, you're not crying simply because you're hungry anymore. You're crying, or you're not crying because you, like, need something to survive. You're crying because you just want something now. Like, I that's think, but you, you know what, I think the, I think the, I think the extra wrinkle in this that I was trying to get at, uh, I, I think I figured it out. I think the extra wrinkle that I was trying to get at is the concept that uh, kids make mistakes a lot more often and like they make wrong decisions like way more often than like an adult does because they don't have like full context or experience in scenarios. And I think that there is a large number of parents that don't care about that, right? Like, like uh like if a like if a ch if a child if a young child makes a mistake well why would you do that i wouldn't do that right like like you like talked about you talked about a kid burning you talked stove? about a kid burning yeah, their hand I literally just bringing up this example of what about burning oh. the hand yeah i literally just said yeah about like a kid touching a stove and you said the same thing it's funny right okay, so yeah, so go. like you were talking about like a kid burning their hand earlier or whatever right and it's like yeah. Yeah, obviously that's like something really stupid, but who can truly say that the mind of a child is like perfect? Like knows that. Like like yeah. no like no one's going to argue that the mind of a child is like a perfect steel trap. And so it's like, oh, the next time that they see it, maybe they forgot or maybe they think that this time it won't burn or whatever. Whereas to us as adults, it's like obviously you're going to burn yourself idiot but it's, once it's again like i don't think that the kid that, uh... is stupid for making that mistake i think it's a genuine mistake no yeah yeah for the most part it's like pain especially right understanding pain right because you're like oh it hurts it's like well unfortunately it's one of those things a kid will never understand what hurt means until they've been hurt um right but i think naturally with like how rough and tumble kids are too they're gonna get hurt eventually so they'll understand to a certain degree that pain is not ple like nice pain is bad i mean i think the natural response i think the brain's natural response to something that hurts being highly negative is like you can kind of anticipate it a little bit i guess but i don't know so so yeah um man we kind of we kind of went on like a like a weird tangent here at some point but it was just like i don't know i was just i was just thinking about it because it's just like um there's a lot of people especially at work where you know I, I don't necessarily talk to them, but I hear them talking to each other. And they're all very mean to their kids. And I'm sure that their kids aren't exactly like perfect little angels, but also like it's a developing human being, not like a chair that you bought at like a retail store. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's a lot of things going on as well in like society right now where a lot of it is very like anti-kid. Like, kids are just work, kids take away from, like, me pursuing things, kids take up time. Like, a lot of it is anti-kid to the point where I think people's opinions of ki kids have also, like, declined. Um, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I mean, can I, can I, I mean, in my typical fashion, can I bring up what I think would be a large factor of that? Um, I don't know about international cultures. I'm not sure. I'm sure that a lot of other international cultures have different perspectives on like, you know, raising a child. It's, but yeah. do you know, but, say, yeah, here. but do you know what a well. child represents to me in as a US citizen? Uh, a fucking enormous expense, right? Yeah, money. Wow, look money, how many levels I just got, holy uh, fuck. What is it, the birth rate of other, like I know some Asian countries are low. It's well, it's low it because expensive. it's low because of like low resources and stuff like that. But I mean, like like a kid is crazy expensive to have to to have to raise. Yeah. Because it's like not only is it like <laughs> just funny, the general. Some, <laughs> sorry. Some people get pets though, you know, and pets are also expensive. A pet is not even remotely as expensive as a kid. 
It doesn't I, mean, don't, I genuinely don't know the difference, but like, I, I obviously they live if you longer. Wanted, so if you wanted the average stuff. comparison number, you would have to look it up. But the last time I looked it up, it's something in the ballpark of like a kid is 50 to 60 times more expensive than your average pet. Because like okay, dog, because like dog food is obviously a lot less expensive than the food that like an eight year old is gonna eat or something. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we're, we're, that's not that's not what we're talking about necessarily. But it's just like I think that there used to be a higher opinion in the U.S. of kids back when it didn't require as much time and effort to earn the money that you needed to properly raise a child. If that makes I, I think sense. I could. I think I could agree, and I think that also goes along with the trajectory of how the society is moving. The reason also why, like, the more advanced you kind of get, the more different kinds of problems you get. And that's why I kind of look at Japan and, like, even, like, Korea a little bit in this regard, because it's, like, they're, they are advanced, but it's, like, to the point where now where life has become work and having a kid is too expensive. They don't have time to be off of work. And but I mean, kind but that's of the, the model America is driving. I have towards. I have trouble with the way that you're using the 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 term advanced in this scenario. And now we're getting into like anti capitalism stuff or whatever. But like, it is true um... that like society has advanced enormously, especially within the last couple of decades. But like the like advancement doesn't lead to more work. That's not a thing. That that's not how that works. Okay, like the more like, the more advanced saying, maybe... the more advanced a society gets, the less work an individual person has to do to achieve the same or even greater productivity. It's literally just mm. exploitation that causes maybe, okay, more. Okay, um, uh, let me let me switch then. The term. When I say advanced, is like I'm thinking that if if we're on a line, right? <laughs> okay, Japan we're on, Korea... we're on a line. We're on a line. Japan and Korea are at like closer to the end of this line. And we are moving towards that. So by advanced, I mean they are ahead in this line. Oh, in this line are... in particular. You're not talking about like technologically advanced. You're talking about in the no. in the in the consumption of their life uh, in terms of like work. Oh, okay. Like how work work oh. is affecting you and like stuff like that. Yeah, they are ahead in this line, and it's not a. I don't think where they're at is good. And, but I think we are going down the line to them. To like the point where it's like work is all consuming and like no one has time for anything besides it. I tend to agree. So I, I think, yeah, so I, I would say I would agree with that. But I also think off to the side too, there is a little bit of like work matters more as well. Like kids suck, work matters more. I think both of these things are together consistently. Do you like do you like my character? He's a bird. Yeah, that's why you got a flock with you, huh? He's a birdie. No. What were we talking about at the beginning of this? Yeah, kids uh, and diaries. It would be and fucking and invisible like that, yeah. diary thing. And yeah. like, I don't know. Like that's why I brought up like, do you think that you would own your kid if you had one? And it's just like that just that, I don't know. Just the just the sheer unadulterated like disregard for your the the nature of your child being a human being mm. that the that some people have when they talk about like oh yeah you know my kid does what they're told or else i'm gonna kick them out and it's like like because you know because i don't know I, I don't know if you would agree with the sentiment but i do sincerely have the sentiment of uh <laughs> your kid did not choose to be alive you you chose to conceive a child and so it's like it, it's not necessarily like a child can do no wrong but it is the source of like but it is the like to me at least it's the idea that like just because you had a kid Make doesn't sure mean that they have you know, to be exactly what you well. want them to be i guess there we go i got that true but and then i would also add on top of that make sure you're actually prepared you know Oh, I mean, absolutely. Like, there are tons, like, w w once again, there are tons of people who, you know, go t that work at the place that I work that were very much not prepared for a kid. And they just had one because they were like, well, yeah, that's what you do. You have a kid. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking I mean, about? In some cases, like, sure, maybe in the past, but like, you really don't need to now. Like, you can be prepared. I mean, as well, I mean the, 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 and and once again, this is just this is just a lot of like my personal anxieties coming forth at the moment. But it's just like I do think that if you have more than twenty five years on your kid, 
right? Like if you're if you're more than 25 years apart, I worry about the generation gap between you and your kid. So you're saying better younger? I well, in the sense that like I I, I don't necessarily well cuz how do I explain this? I don't think that the way that the world works today loans itself to allow younger people to have kids safely, if that makes sense, or like in a secure position. It, it, it's very hard to be a younger person and have a kid. It, it seems to be that a lot of people nowadays are pushing more towards like 30 and like their mid 30s before they have their first yeah, kid. Yeah, because they're like, we want to live our life first and then. Well, have not a even kid. because you want to. Well, I don't know. But maybe you're. Maybe you have a different perspective than me. But for me, it's like it takes that long to finally fucking settle down. Or, or, or like like it takes that long to finally get to the place okay, where yeah, it's like we're financially yeah. secure yeah. enough to uh, to to you know support an additional human life who's not working you know what i mean um yeah. and so because it takes like 30 to 30 to 40 years to get there it leads to a wider generation gap between you and your child and i don't know i i i feel like that might be detrimental in the sense that your kid I don't know, just won't have that connection, really, to their parent. Because mm -hmm. um, I, you know, once again, I can talk from personal experience. I know that, like, a lot of stuff that, like, there's a lot of stuff that, like, my mom has no hobbies whatsoever, but my dad does. He has a lot of hobbies, a lot of things he's really interested in, but there are things that aren't really hobbies now. Like, they're hobbies for old, older people, you know? Like, he collects coins. He's really into model trains. He really likes, uh, you know, like, classic rock and stuff like that. And sure, like, classic rock is a genre that people listen to, but it's not, like, the thing that people listen to anymore. And so, I don't know, I, I think about yeah. that where it's like, well, what if my dad was like, I don't know, what if my dad was like 10 years younger? Would me and him but have like, more things in common? On one hand, I'm like, D but is it necessary to have like those kinds of interests in common at least? Like, well, what if like as a- uh, I mean, like, they, obviously dad, I brought like, up like a bunch of if, hobbies, like, but- you, you end up liking rock, right? Is that well, really? Well, I mean, I like... do. Well, th yeah. So it's like, but is that like? I, I, I don't want to say you're saying it's like a bad thing, but it's like, I'm wondering if it's like necessary. Like, I don't think you cry over the fact you're into rock more than what's popular right now. Oh, I, I mean, okay. So your your statement is 100 percent true. I definitely do not lament my my affection for classic rock over like fucking mumble rap or whatever, but. I don't know. It's um, I guess it's kind of hard to articulate exactly what I'm trying to say here. But it, it but it's more along the lines of like like the, I am like clashing of differences between eras is what you're talking about. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, more I or less. Like there's that. just the differences in perspective. I guess like I can give an example of like uh, did have I talked before about like the 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 really big and tough conversation that I had with my dad, uh, trying to get him to believe in global warming. <laughs> I don't think so. My dad Funny is that. an extremely smart guy, and he has been a staunch, like, centrist for a really long time. He he truly believed for the longest time that, uh, that there were two sides to every story and that he needed to listen to everybody's perspective and then figure out for himself what he wanted. That makes sense. I mean, that's smart, sense. but it takes a long time. That takes a <laughs> long time, but it makes sense, yeah. right? With the yeah. advent of the internet, suddenly perspectives came really hard and really fast. So eventually he stopped listening to everybody's perspectives and he just listened to the first couple perspectives that would come out and he would base his opinion on that. Right? I, mean, I can almost get it just because like, uh, like people's minds, like before, right? You only had like the people kind of around you to listen to. Now you suddenly have millions of people, one to which you don't know if what they're saying is actually true. Like even before and... the, even before the internet, uh, I'll remind you that 24 hour news networks weren't always a thing. Yeah. Right. So New, it's like the, you the, had news the news used to be a, the, the news used you. to be a one hour TV special that happened twice a day. 
Like, that's what the news used to be. So it's like, and that's why, and you know, and stories were well-researched and well-informed. A lot of things were more, uh, like, less, uh, less biased because it was literally illegal for, for a news station to be biased and stuff like that. And now we have, like, CNN well, and Fox stuff. News and all that jazz. But the, idiotic. but the, but the, um, so anyway, t uh, talking more specifically on the global warming stuff, I'll ask you, Saba, were you aware that in uh, that during the era of the Roman Empire, they actually had a uh, ice age? Not not literally uh, like a ice age where the entire world was covered in like miles of ice or whatever. But there was an ice age where effectively the world never returned to spring. It would go from like effectively fall to winter to fall to winter to fall to winter for about 20 no, yeah, years. I don't think so. I don't think I knew about that. Yeah, so that was the thing that happened during uh, uh, during Roman times, and my dad would constantly bring that up whenever I talked about global warming. He would be like, well, what about this? How did that happen? And it's like, well, that's just how the climate was for a while. And he's like, yeah, but they didn't have, like, they didn't have, like, fossil fuels and steam engines and stuff like that. So if this could happen here and it's no big deal, then why is what happening now a big deal? Right? And it was the sort of thing mm -hmm. where it's just like, I, who gives a shit about what happened to the Romans? <laughs> you know? Like, like sure, the Romans I mean, it's were... interesting. I can see why, like, someone would, like think like that yeah. like, like, like someone yeah. like someone asking the question of what happened here is not inherently a bad thing but its relevance to the current state of the world is arguable at best like you know there there are a million there are a million factors that could have contributed to the mini ice age that the romans experienced but you know what didn't happen when uh that happened to rome uh, the Earth hadn't warmed by, like, a degree and a half in the course of, like, I a decade. I think also what it is, is that, like, sure, that's an interesting question, but, like, no one, there is not enough time right now to there's find not, that answer there, out. There's not enough time to determine determined. whether or not that's relevant before the hypothetical situation where my grandkids are boiled alive. Yeah. You know? So I, I, I would I would probably agree, because it's like, once again, the sentiment is not bad that your your dad's, like, wanting to know what this is, but it's like, it, it may, you may not have enough time to figure out. And so that, and so that was the thing, where it was just like, um, this is kind of like the sort of stuff that I'm talking about, where it's just like, I wish, like, obviously, like, obviously part of this stems from the idea that I wish that my dad and I agreed on more things. But it's also the idea of, like, I wonder how much more informed my dad would be if he was 10 years younger and ergo was more privy to a lot of, like, internet patterns. But then again, maybe I am too privy to internet patterns. And yeah. it's because uh, the internet has a lot of, like, catastrophization and stuff, right? Where a lot of people on the internet are like, oh my god, the world's gonna die tomorrow. Whereas, yeah. you know, it's probably it's probably actually going to be like 40 years, but in 10 years, there's no turning back. Right. Like that's the like that's the whole like yeah. argument and whatnot. So I don't know. It, it's the um, looping it back to the original point uh, of this topic. It's just uh, I don't know. I just find it a little disappointing because it's like I wish that people were able to were I wish people were allowed to get to a financially stable enough position to where they could have kids reasonably in their like mid to late 20s and obviously as a person who is entering their mid to late 20s i will fully admit i had already planned to have a kid by now that was like my big life plan when i was mm -hmm. when i was younger because you know you know that like i don't know if you ever did this but you know that asinine thing that schools do sometime where it's like, hey, write a letter to your future self about all the things that you that you hope to have done by this time. Yeah. Uh, we had to do that when we were 15. <laughs> and it was like, hey, write a letter to yourself a decade from now. And my letter was like, I hope that I already have my first kid. I hope his name is Isaac. I hope I am in an apartment and I have a good job that I love. Mm -hmm. And it's the sort of thing where it's like, all of those things were technically reasonable, like technically reasonable assertions back when I was 15. And then the world fell apart twice. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, bummer. Bummer. Bummer, dude. Bummer, dude. I... Just, like, a little bit of tangent. I remember doing, like, a letter to myself in high school, at the start of high school. I never got it back. They just kept and it? I, I don't... I, I genuinely don't know. I think so. But it's, like, I'm so sad thinking about this, like... Because I remember being, like, maybe somewhat like down during that time but like i wanted to like i like optimistic about like writing a letter to myself and what would that would be like and i'm like it'll never happen now i'm never gonna have that i'm never gonna see it <laughs> that's kind of sad so sad what have you called <laughs> yeah. what have you called your old school and was like hey would you happen to have this fucking letter from like six or seven and, years and ago and then have them and then have them tell me no we threw them all away yeah that'll shatter my <laughs> dreams more yeah but at least you'll know yeah <laughs> I'm like, what a bummer, because I remember asking kind of relatively soon after I graduated, too. I'm like, what mm. happened with that? Weren't we supposed to get that back? Apparently, <sighs> it was a lie. Yeah. Honey, I know. we're nearing the end now. We are. I mean, uh, we'll get there in a minute. It's fine. But the, um, the, the this run has nothing special going for it anyway, so I might just, I'll, I'll probably just end it when we get to the, when we get the time, but yeah. Who would have guessed that uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of thoughts going into the idea of parenting? Who would have guessed that being a parent would be difficult, especially yeah, in today's day and age? You know what happened? You know what happened to uh, my cousin's baby after after he got old enough to go into like uh, daycare or whatever? Mm. He immediately got fucking horribly sick. Because of like the new no, germs, like, like the other kids, right? Yeah, because like if you haven't exposed your kid to like outside environments, microbiomes, like your body's not like used to dealing with it. Because there's a there's there's a there's a thing that you can say about like adults like not washing their hands. Like there's a shocking number of people who admitted like during the early stages of the pandemic that like yeah i didn't wash my hands nearly enough prior to like all of the new regulations and stuff like that uh but i'm glad i do now and you just think about that and it's like no wonder people are getting fucking food poisoning all the time because they just keep you know they they, they wipe their ass and then don't wash their hand and then they just eat poo poo matter <laughs> you know and it's like, and it's like, no, no wonder you're, no wonder you're fucking shitting your brains out the next day, because you just ate shit, literally. Um, but you can't really do that. You can't really do that to a baby, right? Because obviously the baby can't clean itself. But even like a parent, it's, it, it must be fucking impossible. It, it, it has to, to do with to, environment, how sterile your environment is. And like, whether or not that environment gets, ex like, if it's so sterile that your kid doesn't get exposed to these things, like your kid's immune system won't really develop that well it'll like be hypersensitive to other stuff when you suddenly then later on introduce them yeah to different but at the same but at the same time there's a lot of stuff that goes into it like um when i was when i was very young i remember i got the whooping cough and uh mm -hmm. my lungs have been permanently damaged for the rest of my life it's one of the reasons mm -hmm. why if i laugh too hard i start coughing you know and so it's like, that's yeah. the type of shit where it's like, sure, I guess that helped my immune system, but I'll, at the same time, like... No, no, yeah, you know, not as... I meant, like, as, like, a baby, almost, to, like, make sure your environment is, like, take them outside. I mean, I right? was, like, three. <laughs> no, 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 I know, but I'm saying, like, when exposing to stuff, I don't mean, like, exposing you to, like, whooping cough. I mean, just, like, make sure to take the kid outside, take them into different environments so they get you, like, their body is, like introduced to like i don't know grass and trees and that kind of stuff not to like whooping cough i guess <laughs> that makes sense yeah yeah i don't know i wonder i wonder what the like proper balance of that sort of thing is because i remember i remember uh my mom when she was watching the baby aiden she uh mo on multiple occasions like took him uh on walks through the woods and I remember thinking that that was, like, kind of interesting. The idea of taking, a, like, a fucking baby, like, less than a year old, through uh, on a walk through the woods. Because it's like, I think that's fine. I can't think of a reason why that I wouldn't so. be fine, right? Yeah, I would agree. You know? Um, and I just remember that, I just remember that being kind of interesting. 
Anyway, we are overtime. Okay. So, uh, overtime. yes, we are... The, the plan is still that we are going to be playing well, a three. special surprise tomorrow. Um, yes. You're gonna be you're gonna be at your computer, obviously, for tomorrow. Like you're not gonna be like Yay. on your laptop or something. No, I'm here now. That's very good. Okay, so we're all squared away there. We're gonna be starting at noon your time, so three my time, and we'll be going until seven. So I'll have plenty of time to fucking kill myself before I have to go to work on Monday. All right. Good night, okay. Saba. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you later. Good night, stream.